live. Okay, so let's make sure we got all this good. Ready to go. Got that. Okay. Let's make sure stream is working. Let's refresh that page real quick. If everybody's tuning in, just give me a second. I'm uh, just making sure everything is working. Okay, it is working. We can mute that. Okay. I can pull up my OBS. Let's pull out my chat for I can see this. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hopefully everything is good. Let's see here. Pulling up chat. Okay. Yo, yo, everybody tuning into the stream. It's about uh, eight minutes a little bit earlier than normal. I know I said, uh, you know, 10 o'clock, but obviously my time right now, it's 9.52. I decided to give it a little bit, you know, just start a little bit early for those that, you know, probably just you need to, I guess, catch up, get some food or whatever, you know, do whatever they're doing, you know, just uh, get some time for people to kind of funnel into the video. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have a good day here. Let's uh, sit down and let's uh, read a uh, pretty good series. I mean, everybody keeps telling me that this is a good series, and I want to read it. So first things first, as you can see, we got chat up here, which you can see. So these are for the individuals that are going to be watching the VOD after this video is done. Um, as you can see on the side as well, like over here or whatever, or no, this way. Wait, am I, I can't see my camera because I got my chat in the way on my screen. Um, basically, yeah, over here, you can see the chapter that's on the side of the screen. And then, you know, you have uh, Best Girl Mommy on the side as well, kind of blocking a portion of the chapter. And basically, to kind of explain why that's a thing, like why we're even doing that, is because uh, copyright. That That's the big reason. So, I'm taking a little bit of a risk with today's video, so to speak, like... You know, obviously, normally, I play it very safe. I think everybody knows that. But I was like, okay, I'm doing a stream. I'm going to be reading a series. I'm going to take a little risk. And I'm going to have some of the image, obviously, covered. But I'm going to be showcasing the chapter while I read it. So, uh, if you do want to um, actually see the chapter, the full chapter, go find it on your own. This is chapter one, just for clarification. Um, also, I mean, the stream tells you the title, but the series is, you know, the 100 girlfriends that really, 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 really love you. That That's that's what the series title is. But, um, yeah, so uh, when it's going to be taken out frame, we, we don't have that bad mojo here. Let, 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 let's not have any of that bad mojo <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that, but uh, hopefully you all enjoy Mommy Best Girl. Like, she's legit just straight up Best Girl. I think everybody will appreciate Mommy on the side. Um... Let's see here. Uh, make it a little transparent. Um, I could make it a little bit transparent here. Um... Let's see here. Let me see what I can do. Give me just a second. Because I've been, like, really messing with this for a while, honestly. But, uh... I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, guys. I don't really know how to uh, do um, OBS that well. I mean, I've said this before, <laughs> I'm not really a streamer. I know that we're in the day and age to where I should definitely know how to work OBS and streaming and all that, but I don't stream often. I don't, and I've always just stuck to the traditional. I grab my camera, grab my microphone, I record, and that's about it. So there's not like, I, like I don't know all the ins and outs, so to speak, of like uh, streaming and all that. Uh, I see. Thank you very much for the two dollar donation, uh, mommy. I love you. <laughs> my man. I mean, mommy's best girl. She does clear. I, I DJ. I agree. Mommy clears the whole cast. One hundred percent. How unprofessional. I'm literally triple tabbing. Oh, wow. Okay. People down really bad. I mean, I am very unprofessional. I agree. No, I am. I am extremely unprofessional. I never said I was professional whatsoever. I, I, I have never tried to make that comment. But, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, well, yep. Yeah, mommy's best girl. I'm glad everybody agrees. Um, uh, Rim or Mommy? I mean, come on. Mommy's better. Be honest. Better. More developed. Way better character. Let's keep it real. Um, I, I got the John haircut. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> I see. Um, don't worry, family. Oh, no worry. That, we're all chill. We're all jokes here. Um, once again, it's uh, 9.56. We're not going to start reading yet until around like 10. Exactly, so another four or so minutes. I'm uh, just going to be chilling with you guys in chat, just talking. Um, once again, just as a little check since we're early on, how is the audio? 
How's the video? Uh, can you guys see the chapter okay? I mean, well, obviously, portions of it's, like, blocked out, as you can see there. But, I mean, can you guys see the chapter? Um, I am not showing my browser history. That will be burned if I ever die. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's exactly what will happen. Um, did I read uh, Beat in Motion? No, I have never read that series. Uh, is there no image opacity in OB? I, I, I couldn't find it. I legit couldn't. Like, I have it pulled up right here, and if I go to, like, blending options, like, I can make it uh, multiply, which is what I use for, um, you know, Photoshop, but uh, I would have to put an image layer behind it to do that, so... Maybe that's a way to make it transparent, but there's, like, no opacity or whatever to be able to make it slightly transparent. I, I can't find that slider at all. If anyone knows where that is, I would greatly appreciate it, but uh, I don't really use OBS, so I have no idea. Um, will you do a near uh, Automata mid-season content review? Yes, 100% I am definitely going to be doing one. That is a given. I promise you on that one, I will be doing it. Um, yeah, the chapter is clear. Um... Let's see here. Chibi, please watch Combat Gods. I've already seen all of Combat Gods. I love it. I actually love that. I mean, I don't know. They did a really good job with the newest one they released. Uh, where am I from? Um, Tennessee. Well, okay. Let's go into some origin. I guess some of we have some time to talk about it. I was born in Florida. Yeah, I'm a Florida man. Born in Florida. I was there until I was 10 years old, and then I moved to Tennessee, which is where I'm at right now, and I've been here ever since. And I'm currently 27, almost 28. In literally, like, two weeks. A week to two weeks from now. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What are your thoughts on Lookism? I have not fully caught up with it, but I do like Lookism. Good series. Uh, that explains it. Wait, wait. It explains it? What explains it? Because I'm a Florida man? I I is that what explains it? Uh, Chibi, uh, Chibi the Florida man. I mean, okay. I I'll tell you something, then. If we're, if we're gonna get into the Florida man stuff, I mean, I used to, like, uh eat, like, has anyone ever ate, like, gator nuggets? Like, okay, let, let me clarify. So, basically, in Florida, there's restaurants where you can go on, let's say, like, a, on a river or whatever, and you can actually eat alligator. And I'll tell you what, some of the best food I've ever ate in my entire life was alligator nuggets. Really freaking good. Like, seriously, get some, like, honey mustard or whatever. Delicious. Really great. Um, Con Con, thank you very much for the $20 donation. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out a lot, and I just thank you. Um, let's see. A Savannah, ha a Savannah had some. A true Florida man. Yes, gator nuggets are good, but I prefer gator jerky. I have actually never had gator jerky. That, mm, that's probably sound, that, that's probably good, actually. Holy crap. That's actually, mm, I, I, I want to try that. Gator. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you know what? I got a funny story for you guys about Gatorade, okay? You, you want to hear some funny stuff? When I was a kid, like six or seven, I used to... I, I forget who told me. I don't know if it was, like, my parents, my siblings, whatever. But I remember someone telling me that Gatorade was actually, like, uh, just Gator condensed into a drink. I, and I believed it. I was a kid, okay? Yeah, uh, okay? It's not my fault. I was a kid. But... Like, I was under the impression that Gatorade was literally just condensed liquid gator. And I was drinking it. <laughs> I'm not joking. I, I dude, it, it's, uh, that's literally what I, uh, I was told when I was a kid. And I was just like, oh, and I never really wanted to drink Gatorade because of it. Um, yo, hi, Chibi. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Um, hopefully everyone that is joining into the stream is having a good time and all that. Um, let me see. Let me check some stuff here. Um... Okay, so, I uh, Gator. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess, yes, I am a full-time content creator. That is uh, accurate. Um, let me pull up my chat here if I can see this. Okay, so, have you read Inmates in the Shadow novel? I have not started reading it yet since the anime has basically, but you know, been announced for season two. I haven't started. Uh, did you catch up to my dress-up darling manga? No, I have not. Um, what's up, Nova? Welcome to the stream. Nice thumbnail, Chibi. Ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, this manga is funny. Wait till you get to the wall of text chapter. What chapter is that on, by the way, Fox? Could you let me know? I'm curious. Um, House Casca, she is currently laying down in her crate. She, uh, did not want to get up this morning because, I'll keep it real with you, I sleep in. Normally, around this time of 10, I'm asleep for another, like, an hour and a half from now. And so, Casca is kind of, like, on my schedule. She doesn't want to get up. She got a little bit grouchy this morning. <laughs> and she didn't want to get up. So, I put her blankets and pillows in her little crate. And she's just laying there right now. She's just sleeping. Um, 
Let's see, 37? Oh, so it's chapter 37. I don't know if we'll get that far today, but we'll see. What is your opinion on the latest arc of Eden Zero? I mean, it's excellent. I mean, I think uh, Hiro Mashima is doing a fantastic job with Eden Zero. Uh, Chi, will you do an Oshinoko episode? Yeah, obviously. I might even stream my reaction. Depending on how this uh, stream does today, how many people like it, I'll do, uh, you know, a reaction to Oshinoko. Um, I see, thank you very much for the $2 donation. I need all 100 girlfriends. Oh my goodness, my man. Bruh. My man. Uh, you're not gonna use the CGI, uh, grass background? Um... No, because uh, the, the budget's ran dry. The, the grass is kind of brown and dead right now. I can't really do that. Uh, have you read Madaka Box? No, I have not. Chibi, are you going to make a vid on Arc 7? Yes, eventually. What's your favorite manhwa? Um, I'm assuming we're talking about like webtoons and stuff. Uh, currently, my favorite one is Unordinary. I've been really enjoying Unordinary week by week. That's probably my favorite. Uh, let's hope Season 2 of Eden Zero really goes beyond and pays homage to the methods of the director who made Season 1 possible. Yes, I agree. Um, okay, so we're about to begin. We're 2 minutes over 10 minutes, or uh, 10 a.m., so we're about to start reading this series. Uh, once again, here is the goals for today, to make sure we're all on the same page. The goals is to at least read 10 to 20 chapters of this series, um, and also, obviously... Just get an overall impression of what the story has to offer. I've been told that this is good. People keep recommending it to me. So I was going to share it with all of you guys. Um, let's see. Chibi, you're the same age as me. But since day one, I discovered you still look 23. Thank you. I, I need that ego boost this morning. I really do. Here, let me take me a sip of my coffee real quick. Uh, what's up, XL? Well, uh, welcome. You know, a lot of you guys, a lot of you peeps are all around from the world and all that. You know, thank you everyone tuning in because I know that there's a lot of you that's probably watching this. It might be 9 o'clock at night. Could be like, you know, 2 in the morning for you. Whatever time it may be, I do appreciate you taking some time out of your day to be able to sit down and watch this stream and all that. I'm glad I can have some of these moments with you. So, uh, oh, uh, 1703. Oh, oh, wow. So, that's, um... 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., right? Yeah, but yeah, that's 5 p.m. Um, okay, so let's go. We're going to start now. We are getting ready. Buckle up, everyone. Let's begin the journey of 100 girlfriends that really, really love you. Let's start. Okay, so this is the first chapter, first page. So it's color. Obviously, I like this color page. I'll have it's very standard. Okay. Asakawa-san, I like you. Please go out with me. So I'm assuming this is the MC. You know, he's confessing. The graduation ceremony is today, so I must confess that I want to stand by your side. Aijo-kun, you're such an outgoing person. You're even friendly to a fault, and I like that about you. Okay. But for some reason, I feel like throwing up just imagining you as my lover. Yo, what? Oh, oh, wait a minute. For the man to have a Riz to be able to have 100 girlfriends, he's getting dumped on the first chapter? Or just denied? Yo, my poor man. Okay, but for some reason, I feel like throwing up when I imagine you as my lover. I'm sorry. For the first time in my life, due to how big of a shock this one was, I thought I was going to die from rejection. <laughs> okay. And now I'm the one who wants to throw up after hearing a response like that. So these, I'm assuming, are the female characters that are into him. I mean, he's going to have, obviously, uh, you know, a hundred. I mean, that's at least what we know so far. Uh, if I had to say which one I like the most right now, I really like the white hair one on the side here. You guys can't see that, actually, but Mommy's covering her. But let's be honest, Mommy's better character than any of these characters here. But uh, she's a white-haired character girl right here I like. Um, anyways, let's keep going. Okay, so we got uh, Cheer Up Already, Rentaro. You got rejected. So what? The last walk home as a middle school student, and the walking partner is his friend. We finally graduated, and you want to ruin it by putting on a face like a sick midi-chan. And what would that face do? Yo, what is going on with his face, though? It looks like he's, like, eating a sour grape or lemon or something. Like, bro. <laughs> bro, what? What's going on, my man? Um... Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, oh, did someone actually donate again? Uh, oh, no, it's ConCon. Thank you very much earlier, ConCon. Uh, Lenny for Senator. So is Lenny the one I'm talking about? An L take there. I have an L take? You, you, wait, whoa, whoa. You're t wait a minute, let's back up here. You, you think the silver hair girl you guys can't really see right now? Wait, let me move Mommy real quick, okay? Wait, wrong thing I'm moving there. Um, let me find Mommy. You're telling me that um, this character right here, 
That silver-haired character is not best girl. You're, you're telling me that isn't best girl right now? Come on. Come on. You, you can't be telling me that that character right there isn't. Like, seriously, come on. Ser like, straight up, best design. Get some taste, guys. Come on now. Okay, anyways, let's uh, carry on. The exact face you're making right now, chat wrong, blonde haired, blonde haired girl. She is, but she isn't. You're all wrong. Everyone is best girl. The L take was the one about, oh, mommy is best girl over all of them. I'm sorry to say it, but she is. No, no other character can really compete with mommy. All the best girl. Okay, by the way, how many times does this make? Your rejection streak, I mean. Wait, this man has continuously got rejected? <laughs> so you're telling me this man that has gotten endlessly rejected has the riz to pull a hundred different girls. How? How? Uh, answer me. How, how is that possible? Okay, anyways, your friend just got rejected and that's what you're going to want to ask him about. It is our last day after all, so I thought I'd ask. And now all the days I spent with you are ruined. Today's rejection will make it my 100th time. So he gets a girl for every rejection he ha he's had. Bro. That's rough, man. That is rough. Like, I could not imagine experiencing a hundred different rejections. Like, seriously. Just, just, just take a moment and think about how brutal one rejection is. I'm assuming this man has, like, confessed a hundred different times to an individual different person. And you factor all of that in, of the brutality of being rejected by a hundred different people. That would really hurt. <laughs> like, yo. Th th that would really freaking hurt. I I like, I feel for the man. Like, I, I know that this is a comedy and you're supposed to, like, uh, you know, laugh at this moment. I, I know for a fact that's what it's for. But, like, seriously, imagine being rejected a hundred times. That would suck. That would really destroy someone's overall image of themselves. He, he really is on another league. I would agree. It <laughs> sounds like me. He just like me. He just like me for real. <laughs> I know, you know, uh, I know, you know, a hundred girls to confess. I mean, yeah, I mean, this guy's kind of crazy to have a hundred girls, but like, holy crap, though. Uh, let's see. Kazuya no one time. Uh, Rintaro can't. Kazuya can't. Okay, anyways, but you also could say even after being rejected 99 times, my mentality was still strong enough to handle a confession. I should grant you the title of Love Hero. Stop it. Someone take this defeated, battle-hardened veteran off the market. <laughs> how did you even rack up a streak of 100 times? I, I mean, I'm like this man. Like, how did he? How old were you when you first confessed to someone? I'll never forget it. I was only 8 months old. Wait, whoa, 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 what? I was only 8 months old when I first confessed. Maybe I should call you a monster instead of a hero. How? What? You know what I was doing when I was eight months old? I was learning how to crawl. <laughs> like, that, that's what I was doing. Like, I, I was learning how to walk and crawl. What? Yeah, he's built different. That's a Giga Chad. This man uh, became Freezer for his girl. <laughs> what? This, uh, he is on another league. Like, what? <laughs> Okay, you're such an early bloomer, and yet, like, wait a minute, I'm trying to, I'm trying to factor all this in my head, okay, just give me a second, so, his first confession was when he was eight months old, this means that this man is able to remember when he is eight months old, I mean, I have some memories when I was a kid, too, I, I'll be honest with you, but, uh, the fact that he's able to remember his confession at eight months old, and he confessed, I'm assuming... Like, whoa. This man, okay, he's he's legit got some riz. I, I, I'll give him that. He He's uh, he's determined. He's legit determined. Uh, first words as a baby, will you go out with me? Yo, that probably was legit. You're not wrong. That probably was his legit first, his first words was probably saying, will you go out with me? Bro. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Yo, that is actually funny. The fact that his first words were probably, will you go out with me, is just 
that that is perfection right there. That is legit perfection. He could, uh, wait, he, okay, I'm not gonna read chat. You, uh, I think people are spoiling chat. I wanna, I, I'll read chat, just, I wanna, I wanna keep reading real quick. Okay. You're such an early bloomer, and yet your feelings are being reciprocated. You're bound to trigger a love overload. I want a girlfriend, I want a girlfriend, I want to get butterflies in my stomach from holding hands, and instead of snow, we'd fling our love at each other in a love fight. Let's see, and have actual snowball fights too, if possible. It's still a mystery, though. How could you be rejected so many times despite being turned down time after time? Your reputation among girls has stayed positive this whole time rather than going sour. Your looks aren't half bad either. You can study and you're relatively athletic. You're kind and thoughtful compared to others. You're popular among boys and girls. You're serious yet sociable and easy to get close to. What's with all that positive praise? What are you into me or something? Oh, my man. <laughs> my man. Um, it's a better, yeah, uh, chat, I, I know people are excited as well, but remember, I am like a, like a, like a anime only, or I guess a fresh comer, I, I have not read this series, I don't really know what to expect, so please forgive me on that, um, the chat got rejected as an infant, and here I am struggling, <laughs> my man, don't give up, be like this man, continue, get, get the hundred rejections, go for that high score. Um, anyways, uh, well, in any case, cheer up, Rintaro. Your rejection streak bound to grow leaps and bounds in high school. Don't, uh, but don't kill yourself over it. Just how many depressing things do you gotta say towards a new beginning before your satisfied, uh, anonymous friend A? Matchmaking, matchmaking, matchmaking. Oh, please, oh, please, God and Buddha of love, may you grant me a happy high school life by letting me, uh, letting me get a girlfriend. Worry not. What the hell? Uh, there is an anime coming out for this. There, there is. There is an anime. His friend is kind of cute, though. I mean, he's a cool-looking friend. He's a nice little backup friend. I think he is a good support character. Uh, Mung readers, let us enjoy the reaction. Yeah, um, like, once again, I know everybody's excited. Once again, though, I'm new. And uh, I want to make sure my reactions are genuine, etc. Because I think that everybody would appreciate and enjoy that better. And I do love reading chat as well. And I think people want me to interact with chat. Um, a donation thief. What kind of donation thief would show up like this? I am the god of this shrine. So they're supernatural in this series. Hmm. Got some people from the uh, 1,000, uh, 100 Girlfriends Discord. Oh, really? Well, welcome everyone from the 100 Girlfriend Discord. You know, I appreciate you tuning in and watching this. I'm a newcomer, so forgive me if, uh, you know, I don't, re like, know everything about the series, etc. But hopefully you do enjoy the watch. Thank you for joining. And everybody else that's joining as well, you know, thank you as, uh, you know, as well for everyone that is watching the stream. Um, okay, what kind of donation thief would show up like this? I am the god of the shrine, so you're saying this is how a god is supposed to show up instead. Wait, he's just coming out of the donation box, okay? Uh, whoa, you could pass through solid objects. I still find it hard to believe that you're a god, but I'm pretty sure ghosts can do that. Don't call me a ghost, I'm a god. <laughs> Worry not, Rendaro. What is with that hair do? My man, you need a better barber. I know my haircut's kind of bad. Like, I, I, I know I got some of the, the worst haircuts, but dude, my man, you... you you went into a barber and said, Hey, man, just mess my stuff up. Just mess my hair up. Um... That's, you know, what it looks like to me. Prayers or not, you are to encounter your soulmate in high school. Huh? Soulmate. Me? That's just crazy. I get it. You meant soul mill, not soulmate. <laughs> okay, that's quite the, uh... I'm assuming this is a lost in translation thing, because obviously, you know, Japanese have a lot of wordplay. Like, and I'm assuming soulmate, soul mill, probably something like that. Uh, cut your hair yourself like me. Yo, if I was to cut my hair... You realize how bad it would be? Like, look, okay, I'm not gonna front. My hair, I know I have some messed up cuts sometimes. You go back through years of my videos, you can see some bowl cuts, etc. I, I accept it. That's who I am, okay? I keep it simple. I'm not gonna spike my hair and do all this crazy stuff. But I know when I see a bad hair. And this man's hair, like, yo, look at this man's hair! What is it? <laughs> My man's hair, dude. What is going on with it, bro? Uh, anyways, a person who's a mill for your soul that, that you have to eat. What are you? A Tokyo ghoul? I have... I did not expect 
of all series to get a Tokyo Ghoul reference. What? That is not something I expected to be reminded of while reading this series of all... At all. Like, what? Uh, what time is it? It's 10 in the morning. 10, 16 a.m. Uh, it's a, a hi, man. I love all your videos. Keep going. Your fan from Libya. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Uh, this manga makes a lot of references. I mean, I have seen a few panels over the years that it's been coming out, but uh, I'm a little bit shocked to see a Tokyo Ghoul reference, because let's be honest, Tokyo Ghoul is kind of dark. That is not a light-hearted manga. Anyone that has read Tokyo Ghoul knows this. I mean, hell, even if you watch the anime, which... You should really read the manga, but if you watch the anime, I think you could also agree. No, this is the best manga. I do agree. I mean, straight up, right off the bat, first chapter recommending or, you know, referencing Tokyo Ghoul, that's a win in my book. This is automatically a 10 out of 10 series just for referencing a peak manga like Tokyo Ghoul. Okay, what I meant by soulmate is a companion who is set to be the ultimate love partner. For all individuals, the moment they are born into this world, the ultimate love partner. Yes, that's correct. When you meet your soulmate, it'll feel like a shock just ran through your whole body. And in that instant, the both of you will fall in love too, uh, so hard that it hurts. In layman's terms, this, this is love at first sight. Fall in love so hard that it hurts. Yes, that's correct. However, there is something you must pay heed to when it comes to falling in love with others. Women fall in love instantly, while men fall in love gradually as time goes by. Women fall in love instantly, while men fall in love gradually. As to, okay, he's just repeating in his mind. Stop repeating what I just... Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stop repeating what I just said. You've been doing that for a while now. You're just wasting panels. Okay, that's pretty meta. I like that. that that's pretty good. I, I legit... That's pretty funny. Okay. Okay, I'm liking this. This is my first chapter. I, I like it, man. I'm really liking this. I mean, I don't know, maybe the reason why I'm enjoying it even more is because I get to, uh, you know, share it with all of you guys, but holy crap, the fact that he just said you're wasting panels, that's, that's meta, man, I love that stuff. Okay, um, it's already bad enough that we've got tons of things that need to be drawn for the first chapter, and each pair of soulmates are destined to meet each other at their own de de designated time. But there are people who spend their entire lives alone. Of course, there exists those that don't have a soulmate set to them. For those who do have one, that alone makes them exceptionally fortunate. I see. So what you're saying is that I will meet my soulmate in high school and happily fall in love no matter what. Yes, and that's not all. The number of soulmates you'll encounter in high school is 100. <laughs> so wait a minute. His destined soulmates is 100. D does he have to select one? Like, is our MC special? Is that what this is saying? Pretends to notice rag waste panels. I mean, look, man. Mommy over here is great, okay? You you can't put mommy down. It, it, everybody appreciate the mommy. Appreciate the mommy on the side of the screen. She is best girl. Let's all accept it. I know that is really hard to accept, but she is, okay? She is never a waste of space. Um, let's see. Keep reading, Chibi. I, I'm gonna keep reading. I am. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Okay. Correct. Soon you'll be free to choose a, a among the girls that you like. Uh, like. Wonderful, no? Well, free to choose. Well, this is all because you poured the entirety of your love luck into this major fortune. Which is also the reason behind that giant rejection streak. You're not lying, right? It sounds too good to be true. I'm not. Gods don't lie. So, if this is true, uh, if this turns out to be a lie, then you wouldn't mind if the shrine got burned to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> My man! Bro, what a fret! Okay, that's pretty funny. Oh my goodness, you wouldn't mind if I burn it to the ground? I know it's not suspicious, but how is it normal to fret the god? Uh, damn this virtual generation. Oh my goodness. Uh, in any case, if this turns out to be true, then I really can't wait for school to start. The day of the high school entrance ceremony. Yeah, it's here at last. 
Okay, so guys, I'm gonna I wanna keep it real. I'm I'm loving this. This is this is good. I, I hope chat is also enjoying this because I, I gotta be honest here. Like this is this is pretty freaking funny. Like I legit have enjoyed this so far. Like <laughs> Oh my goodness, Nate why you have best girl bottom line? I, I, see, guys, let's give a shout out there to, you know, uh, uh, It's, because It's is definitely understanding who best girl is. Thank you. Thank you for finally noticing who best girl is. Um, and uh, it only gets better. I mean, it's getting good, dude. Again, we won't make the readers wait another page, so sense of reality ain't worth a damn. Now then, after the, today's, just gonna be going over the school rules with their own class until the afternoon, huh? Uh, let's see, I'll... I'm assuming these are two soulmates. Okay, cute characters. Oh, yeah, this is the blonde girl on the color page, and this is the, uh, pinkish, reddish hair girl? Um, no, I should be the one apologizing here. That hurt, watch where you're going, will ya? Okay, so we have some energy between the characters. Huh? What was that just now? It felt like a shock ran through my entire body. Could it be that these two are what that God foretold? My soulmates. Wait, did they just, like, instantly fall in love? He can fix my... <laughs> I can fix her. <laughs> I can fix her? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think they fell in love. Quit uh, staring already. They don't know that I'm their soulmate. It'll rouse suspicion. Are you two okay? Huh? Owie, I'm sorry, but it seems like I hurt my leg. Can you carry me all the way to the nurse's office? Wait a minute, are they flirting with him right at the start? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, what? Of course, I'm really sorry. Does it hurt a lot? Oh, no, it's nothing much. I'm sorry, really? I'm the worst. I just met my soulmate, and I already injured her. The hell am I doing? He'd cry that much over somebody who hurt her leg because of him, and he doesn't even know them. What a kind soul he is. Love is blind. So she just like insta fell in love. <laughs> they just insta... Bro, what? <laughs> he bumps into him and they're like, oh, I love you. And like literally, he has the riz, man. Like, I, I agree. She She's thirsty and has the riz. Hey, Chibi, did you read Yamada-kun? Yes, I have read that. Great series. Let him cook. Let the Riz work. I mean, seriously, let the Riz work. The man really does have the Riz going right now. <laughs> he is a Giga Chad. You, are you okay? Can you stand fake you so much? As if I wanted you to carry me because I hurt my... Ah, Sundere. Okay. Huh? What was that? Wait, did you hurt your leg as well? That's right, I did. What, you got a problem with that? Oh my goodness. So we got the thirsty one, and we got the Sundere. That's what we got so far. Okay. The hell are you, uh, a walking fortress of muscle? How in the world did you manage to injure two people that badly when you barely touched them, you, uh, you fool? Is, is something the matter? You having a fit? Huh? What happened? To your legs? Ow, ow, oh my goodness, of course they're faking. Just hurry up and carry us. Alright, doesn't this make me look like the injured one? Bro, my man walks into high school, and the first thing he gets is just two girls already. This is Riz, man. This is max level Riz. Like, straight up. My man is in bliss. Look at his face right now. That man is straight happy. Are you watching, uh, Tone Nemo Skill? Uh, I am not watching that this season, no. It, it really do be Riz, guys. My man picking up girls left <laughs> He does, dude! Faking injuries as well. Okay, well, with three people here, we need to do this to balance. Hey, you, uh, you're sticking too close to him. I'm gonna lose my balance here. You're being so, and you're being so, wait. My man. <laughs> my man's got the wrist. <laughs> What's going on here? Is this really happening? These girls are like cicadas. I'm the luckiest telephone pole in the entire galaxy. My man's face is just perfect. <laughs> Dude, look at his face. And for some reason, they both smell amazing. Ah, yes. Uh, for now, how about we get to the nurse office? At this rate, I feel like I'm going to turn into a girl. This ain't reverse -y. I've heard that series before. I don't think I've read it, though. Or, I mean, I know I haven't read it, but I've heard that series before. And so I'm Ijo Rentaro, a first year class four. And you two? I'm, I'm, Inda, care, uh, care, 
Karani, or uh, Karani, I, I can't say that, um, and then you have Hana of the first year, uh, we're in the same class, yeah, the same class, could you guys not talk over, yeah, okay, so they're, yeah, they're just straight up talking over each other, he's a blizzard, telephone pole, <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry, <laughs> dude, imagine alternative universe, Hagrid comes up to Harry Potter, he's like, you're a wizard, Harry, <laughs> he's like, I'm a what? You're the Wizard Lord. <laughs> like, imagine. I can't get enough of the dude. It, it's, this is funny. I mean, it is supposed to be a comedy. Like, a rom-com comedy. Reversi is a board game. I think it goes by... Oh, okay, that's where I've heard it. I, I could have sworn there was, like, a manga series called that. My bad. Mind if we try this again so I have a chance to? Hey, have you heard about the love charm rumor in this school? So, we have Hikari and Inda. Okay, so that's their names. Uh, they grow pink clovers here in the school's garden, and if you confess to someone while giving them a four-leaf one, the confession will definitely secede. What? How childish. I know, but apparently it's never failed. That sounds good. Oh my goodness, they're about to get the four-leaf clover. Let's, let's be honest, we know exactly what's going on here. Uh, he is the chosen one. You pronounce it, uh, K-Rine. Oh, uh, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, you said Harry Potter educated him. <laughs> uh oh, wait, did he? Did it? Did he say it? I don't think he did. Um, okay, um, they grow that. Okay, so I just remembered I have to take care of something. Me too. What about your legs? Oh, yes, they just start running off. Uh, school is out for first years, and four hours later. Sorry, I didn't expect you to help me find my dropped contact lens from earlier, and you were just passing by too. Don't worry, Sensei, we should all help others in need after all. I just wasn't expecting this to take four hours. Well, take care. You get 100 million points of your school's evaluation report for what you did. Man, I wanted to talk to those two right as school ended. Well, there's always tomorrow. Four Leaf Clover, Four Leaf... Oh my goodness, they're both just searching. <laughs> they're both just searching for Four Leaf Clovers. That's cute, though. That is legit cute. Uh, Chad Taro is the ideal boyfriend. I mean, so far, he's a, he's a pretty good character. I don't think necessarily he's a bad person. I think he just he wants a girlfriend. I don't really see anything wrong with him so far. Because usually when it comes to these type of characters, like, here's my early assessment for MCs, like, for rom-coms and harems. Either they're, like, a beta male, or they, uh, they just, they're scummy. Like, very, very scummy. But so far, the character doesn't seem to necessarily be scummy. He just seems to be someone that, uh, wants someone, and he, now he's finally given a chance. That's basically what it is. But we'll see how his character develops. Um, he is a good MC. I mean, I so far he seems to be a good MC. I don't really have anything necessarily that sticks out that I dislike about him. He also has good comedy as well, so that's a big deal too when it comes to rom-coms. Hi, how are you doing during the pa uh, pandemic? I mean, I don't think it's still going on, but I'm doing good. Uh, let's see, his Chadness and Riz are only going to increase. I'm assuming so. I like him more than the girls. I mean, he's a good character so far. I think that legit, like, he's got, he's a good character. He's funny. This one is basically a parody of the harem genre. Ah, oh, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, what, uh, oh wait, let's read this. Okay, so I've been searching for a four-leaf clover for four hours straight. Are they for real? The guy who did the same thing for some contact lenses. It's easy to tell why they're doing this. They're searching for one so they could give it to me. Okay, so at least he's aware. I'm appreciative of him not being, like, dense and he's aware of the situation because that's so annoying when an mc doesn't realize why these characters are doing this i'm very happy he's aware of that what dedication uh, i better give them something as well of course but we're not dating so they might be creeped out if i act like a boyfriend ah uh, so what i figured as much with the rumor like that going around they're bound to be all gone by now in the sun finding a four-leaf clover is harder than it looks right i do Say what? Me looking for a four-leaf clover as if that'd be the case. That's right. I'm only trying to find a place to relieve myself since I just suddenly got the urge. Well, I, you know, I'm just gonna, I want to keep rooting. I'm not even going to acknowledge that. Okay, I, I won't even acknowledge that. Hiding your embarrassment just made this a whole lot worse. You okay? What, uh, where'd hanazono son go? Well, she was here a minute ago. Beats me, the bathroom or something. I see. Then, well, here, drink this. You must be tired. What? what? What's that? And what for? I don't know what your deal here is. Well, that's alright. It all comes off as creepy then. You don't have to. This still so creepy that I feel like uh, my stomach acid or whatever is going to flow backwards, but I'll drink it just for you since I don't want it to go to waste. You're being so unreasonable that even I can tell you're forcing yourself. Anyway, let's call it a day. It's already pretty late. You don't have to tell me twice. Then, thank you. 
Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's very cute. That is that is very very sweet. Like look at that. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. I mean, look, I <sighs> I have a special place in my heart for Sundarays because, like, some of my, uh, my first, like, series that I ever read or watched was with Sundarays. I mean, does anyone remember, like, Shakugan no Shana, Zero no Tsukaima, all those type of uh, stories, even Toradora? You know, they were Sundarays, and I have a special place for them. I, I know that they can be annoying, and a lot of Sundarays definitely nowadays can just be very over the top and just straight up more soon than Dairy. But when they're done right, they are really great characters. I think that they could really just be some of the best characters in the story. And this is a really good example of that. The cuteness right here is her showing that saying thank you. I love it. Really, really love this. This is this is an excellent way to showcase like this character that is a Sundare. Chibi, do you like Nino? Uh, I don't know who Nino is. Um, Sundarees have their special... They do have their special charm. I completely agree with that. Um, but Twin Tails are best girls. I mean, I do like Twin Tails as well. They're not my... Like, that's not my preferred hairstyle. But I do think it's cute. I do agree to an extent, uh, Rose. Um, okay. So, a Sundare. Oh, so he, he realizes completely. Okay. Don't think I'm thankful for this. Which one is it? I uh, why are you here? Uh, you guys have been searching for a four-leaf clover this whole time, and the both of you must be thirsty, so I bought you guys this. Yeah, so would you like some? Huh, you went through the trouble to... Ah, uh, but with all that juice, I can't finish a whole can by myself. Could you drink half of me? Oh my goodness. So this character is the, uh, the thirsty one. So th th this female character just straight up is just trying her any way to be, like, all over this guy. That, that, that's what I'm getting from her. Um, uh, Nino from V. From V? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Nino from... I, if you're talking about quintessential, uh, quintuplets or whatever, I have not read that. I, I, I have not read that series or watched the anime, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, I have not seen that. Uh, that is not something I've ever started. Um, but with all that juice, oh yeah, I just read that. Okay, so this is the perfect plan to have an indirect kiss with Aijo-kun without raising any suspicion. That's not really, um, subtle by the way you worded that. I just, I want to keep it real. That is not subtle. Uh, she's a mega dairy. Okay. Just know that Ichika is best girl. Ichika best girl? Is she? Is she, though? Well, I guess we'll find out. We'll see. Uh, all right. I thought this might happen, so I bought a 190 milliliter can on top of the 350 milliliter one. <laughs> Good thing I went out of my way to buy this. Bro, she just got blocked by him! <laughs> Bro, half of a 350 milliliter is 175 milliliter, and 190 milliliter is still an extra 15 milliliter. It's hard for me to finish that much. Is 15 milliliter really that big of a deal? Bro, <laughs> her face! Bro! <laughs> she did that quick math, dude. She did that quick math to be all like, okay. It's still too much for me. You gotta drink it. <laughs> like, yo, know, the quick math in her head to be able to just, you know, be thirsty for this man. She's thirsty, but not for, let's say, the drink. Let, let, let's keep it real there. She didn't do the quick math. Dude, her face, like, she's just like, please drink it. Let me, let me have some of that indirect kiss. <laughs> Oh man, that's literally what she's doing. She she's a pretty good character. I'm liking her character. I, I still think uh, the other one's better. I like the Sundre once again, special place in my heart. But I do like this character. So far, the female characters don't seem to be necessarily bad. Okay, so uh, let's see. Fine, if that's the case, I'll drink a bit. But only drinking 15 milliliters kind of tough. Here, here, how's this? Should be 15 milliliter. Thank you so much. Isn't this an indirect kiss? Okay, so he's aware of this. Good. Once again, I appreciate the MC being aware of the situation because, you know, you have so many times in these rom-com harem series where the, just the character is dense and is not aware and it's annoying. I'm glad he is aware of this. That's great. An indirect kiss with Aijokun. <laughs> Bro, did she just not even drink it? Bro, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so she tries to drink it. She gets so... So thirsty, she drops it, doesn't reach her mouth, and sp bro, bro, that is the biggest fumble. She fumbled. She legit 
fumbled the bag. How do you do that? How do you do that? You you were about to have an indirect kiss with the MC in the first chapter, and you fumble that hard. Bruh. Oh my goodness. How do you do that? No. <laughs> wholesome Chantaro. I agree. Pretty wholesome. He didn't try to stop it, too, so I do appreciate that. Uh, she was too nervous. I mean, yeah, it's it's very clear she's nervous, but you could tell she also was just, like, really, really excited for it, so it's pretty funny. So that's a layer to her. So she's very thirsty, but she gets very nervous at the critical moments. So it, it's kind of like that, uh, it's... It's that character archetype where it's just like, she's always on the offensive, but soon as finally her offensive works and she's about to get what she wants, she's on the defensive and she doesn't know what to do. I think that is, uh, once again, another good character trait. So we got some two really good characters. Yo, where can I read this? I mean, uh, you could probably find it. I'm not going to give out links for obvious reasons, for copyright reasons, but uh, right now this is still chapter one. Okay, you love, uh, you love the juice that much. Can we... My can. Oh, she's crying. Oh, she's crying. Look at her. She's crying. Oh, that's so sad. Bro. Uh, this is legit. A mission failed. Try again. I know, seriously. Mission failed. Oh, this poor girl. She's crying, man. You smelled some juice on your skirt. Please wipe it off with this. Oh, he gives her the handkerchief. Okay, we got this typical cliche. Very adorable. Come on, hurry. How is he this... Oh, that's a beautiful scene. I like this. Okay, this is sweet. Grabs his hand. Whoa, we got hand-holding, guys! Already in the first chapter. Whoa! We got some serious progress. Hand-holding. Hanazono, her hands are so soft. Aijukun, I like you. Please go out with... A confession right at the start. I mean, okay, I, I know it's a hundred girlfriends, but I didn't think that we would have, like, a confession. Is he going to deny her? Or is he going to ex What? So, okay, so there's two ways. Before I can go on and I read what's going to be the reaction to this, there's two ways this is going to go. He's going to accept it and go out with her. But then he's going to get asked out again by other girls, and he's going to accept it too, which is going to lead to the title 100 Girlfriends, or he's going to reject her, and he's going to keep rejecting all the characters until eventually he decides to pick one. That's uh, that's my assumption. I, I don't know. It's one of the two. So let, let's read. Let's see. Let, let's see uh, how this is done. We speed ru uh, running. Like, literally, this is speed running. Like, uh, Pokemon or his collection. Uh, <laughs> like, he's collecting girls. <laughs> okay, so his face, obviously, he's embarrassed. This makes complete sense. It's in character. I mean, this man has been literally wanting a girlfriend, and he's been constantly on the, uh, trying to confess, and then finally, for the first time, someone confessed to him. Makes sense on his reaction. I would be probably like this as well. What? I'm so sorry. I know this is quite sudden. But I have seemed to have fallen in love with you at first sight. Oh, yeah, didn't the god say, though, that guys don't instantly fall in love? They gradually do. So technically, because of that, he won't be theoretically completely in love with her. So he might deny her. Hmm. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm so sorry I know this is quite sudden, uh, and it looks like I'm not the only one who shares feelings for you, Aijo-kun. I feel like I'll regret this for the rest of my life if I don't do this soon. This is the first time a girl has confessed to me. I am so happy. You know, once again, this is in character. I know this is for comedic effect, but I think his reaction fits very well with his character. So we have the other. The Sundere comes back. She obviously sees this. Huh? Inda son, why did you come back? And what's up with all those juice cans? It's not, it's not like I want to give you something in return, but didn't know what flavor you preferred. It ended up buying every single kind. Got, bro. See, this is, this is a good mixture of Sundere. See, she is not obnoxious and annoying and brutal and mean and vicious. She has this nice contrast to her. This is how you do a Sundere. Straight up. This is a great Sundere. This is how you do a Sundere, at least in my opinion. Great. I'm happy you did that for me, but now I feel really guilty. And you dare to try to upstage me here, huh? Upstage you? What can you possibly mean? Darn. I totally didn't know that you liked Aijo-kun as well, Inda. 
Yeah, right. You said I'm not the only one who shares these feelings for you, Aijo-kun. Didn't you? It's not like I like you or anything, okay? <laughs> Her face! Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta go to OBS. You guys gotta see this. One sec. Look at her face right there. <laughs> Look at her face. Her eyes right there. That is absolutely... That's perfection. That is great. I absolutely love that. That is... That's amazing. Like, I, I love that face. Here, let me pull the chat back up where I can see. Give me a second. That's that's great. I... Oh, th this has been so fun so far. Like, this is how you do... A good, nice little rom-com. Okay, and there's the chat. Classic Sundre. It really do be the classic Sundre. I, I love this. Uh, the art is, the art is good. Like, okay, so I, I want to mention that. that. Since someone brought that up, actually, I do want to say, the art for this is legit great Like, okay, it's not the best art. Like, honestly, if we put it side by side, like, let's say One Punch Man... Obviously, One Punch Man's better, but that can be said for almost any manga put beside One Punch Man. But for a rom-com harem, for paneling and all that, I do think that this writer, and like the artist as well, does a really good job with the paneling to the facial expressions. It's really good. I, I can see why this is popular. Like, I, I really do see why this is a very popular series to the way the characters are drawn, etc. But it makes sense, because the artist definitely needs to be really good here. Because, uh... If there really is going to be a hundred girlfriends, like a hundred different characters, you're going to have to have good art. Like, y y you got to, because it's going to be a hundred different character designs. That's a lot. Like, that's asking for a lot. And I know, once again, when you think of a hundred characters, in the grand scheme of things, it might not seem that much. But for a typical manga, like, really, just, like, take a step back and think about a typical manga, okay? Any type of manga. Most of the time, especially relevant characters, you don't have more than maybe 10 to 15 characters that are relevant at a given time. And the fact that the author wants to do 100 different female characters, that is a huge task and undertaking to make the designs unique. So the art does need to be good to allow that. Like, you definitely need to have good art to have these characters have a good spotlight for the limited time they have, because they're going to be sharing panel time. All these characters will be competing over panel time continuously so it's not also just the art that needs to be like good it also needs to be the author knowing how to mix and balance these characters in a way and that's difficult like i want to be honest with you the only person that comes to mind that could really do that and mix and balance these characters like like a hundred characters would be oda oda as you know the author of one piece like i mean you got to think about it like Oda has hundreds of characters in One Piece. And even then, I don't think he's, like, completely perfect with balancing those amount of characters. So, the fact that this individual wants to do that, that is a pretty interesting task. If the writer and the artist can succeed, I will hands down say that this is probably one of the best rom-coms in existence. Because that is a really hard feat. Because most rom-com harems, it's hard to balance five characters. Let's be honest. This is true. It's, it's really hard to balance even just five. Hell, three characters. It's hard to balance. A hundred? Holy crap. Uh, we just got a donation from uh, uh, Sa uh, San. Thank you very much for the $6 donation. Um, hey, just wanted to say I really enjoyed your ReZero Season 1 reviews all those years back. Have been enjoying your recent videos as well, so keep it up. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, and I'm happy to see someone that's been around since 2016 is still around. Thank you so much for that. But, uh, the art gets better over time. I mean, I'm assuming it does. I, I mean, I agree, Chad. I, I, I think the art probably will get better. I mean, this is the first chapter. And eventually, you know, an artist will improve as time goes on. It's for any, you know, any manga you look at. You'll see this. But I'm just, I wanted to point out the overall effort and the amount of attention detail that needs to be put into this series is way more than a normal manga. It, it, it is definitely more difficult what this manga is asking for than what a normal manga would do. So, I am curious to see how it's handled. Okay, let's keep reading. Um, hi, Chibi. This came out in December 2019. Okay, so... Wow, it's a few years old. Okay. Um, I know this has like 140 chapters. Um, can anyone in chat clarify, is this a bi-weekly, weekly, or monthly release series? Please. I'm, I'm not... I'm assuming it's not a, uh, a monthly series, because if it has 100 chapters, it's been out since like, you know, uh... 2019, yeah, you would definitely not have 100 chapters. So I'm assuming this is a bi-weekly series. That's what I'm assuming. A weekly? It's a weekly series. 
Huh, for a hundred and like thirty something chapters then, that's kind of surprising. Has there been a lot of hiatuses for this story? Or something else I'm unaware of? 120. Or 129 chapters, okay. Uh, so if it's been going on since... So 50 chapters, if there's like no breaks for the mangaka per year, there's about usually 40 something to 50 chapters you get, okay? And... If you have 50 chapters per year, and obviously it's been going on since the end of 2019, so that's three years of... Uh, you know, that's about right, actually. Uh, no, see, it would be 100, 100 right there, 150. So, yeah, there's been about... Yeah, never mind, yeah, the, the chapters add up. The chapters do add up with how many years it's been going on, okay. There hasn't been, like, they have occasional breaks. Couple one-week breaks, yeah. It, it seems like it's nothing too bad, actually. I was just thinking about it in my head. It, it seems about the right length of chapters for it being, you know, ongoing basically since the end of 2019. Um, there are breaks pretty often, not as much as Oda, usually every six chapters, I would say, that's not bad. I mean, once again, I think there's nothing wrong with an offer having breaks. I don't want to make that assumption and say they shouldn't. I'm just, I was curious, like, you know, how many breaks the offer takes. Because, obviously, if I really do like this, I want to catch up with it. And, you know, people want, I will maybe stream my reactions to the chapters. Um, all 100 might not get introduced at all. Really? That's sad. I hope that's not the case. Just reach EV, you're a bit slow, you have a golden... Okay, 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 yeah. I, I, I have been a little bit slow. Forgive me, guys. Let, let's continue. I also... Uh, wait, okay, but if you insist, it's not like I won't go out with you either. This is a first for me seeing a person confess by acting like they're already confessed, too. Um, that's not it. I meant that. I also like you, Ijo. Please go out with me. We got a second confession?! Bro, that is, this series, man, like, the faces, the faces are so cute, I, uh, dude, I'm loving these faces, they're so adorable, man, like, okay, guys, I got a confession to make, I got a confession, I really love romance manga like i love it okay i i know that that might seem like i'm a little bit corny or whatever because i like romance manga i love it man i i started really getting into manga through romance and like slice life harems all that type of stuff and i love this stuff it's so good man like it oh i love these scenes i I love this. Like, there's so many times when, like, I'm not streaming or recording a video. I'll just be, like, reading stuff like this. I'm like, yo, man, this is just too good, man. This is just too good. I'll be like, yo. I'll be, like, doing this. I'll be, like, getting all excited. Like, I, I love this stuff, man. It's so good. So, yeah, his reaction, I, I think it's really good. Uh, the thing about that is a lot of people think that, like, a guy, like, I, I there is this, like, stigma around it where people think that guys really shouldn't really get fully in a romance. I should, you should stick to action. I've seen this in discussion forums and stuff in the past, but I love romance, man. I really do love it. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Susie, for the uh, $5, or no, wait, oh, $55, whoa, thank you very much for the $55 donation. Um, hi, I've been loving your content since the Noragami anime reviews. Hope you enjoy the ride with uh, Riz Taro and his family development. Also, lots of appreciation for uh, Noza, uh, Nozawas, uh, Nozawas Sensei, and, uh, and her Astro Boy uh, body for the character's art and designs every week. Wait, Astro Boy body? Wait, is it the artist of Astro Boy? I doubt that, but please clarify. Uh, yeah, it, no, I do think it's toxic masculinity. I do think that, but I just, I, I, I feel like more people are obviously more accepting, like, of people reading romance, but I, I've always seen this stigma. I've seen it, and I've had people in my comment section and online when I talk about romance series in the past, like, reviewing old series, just saying, why are you so into these romance series? This is, like, corny, or, like, just something that's just, like, why? It's it's not that good, or whatever. It's just the same old thing. I'm like, oh, no, I'm a simple guy. I like romance. It's great. Um, you get the joke later, maybe at chapter 70 plus. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I'll, I'll definitely uh, look into that then. Like, I'm, I'm gonna catch up, obviously. Uh, there's a reference to the future. Oh, it's a reference. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let me continue reading, though. So, he's got two confessions. Ijo, Ijo-kun, which one of us will you go out with? Tell me. Well, bro! 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, you guys gotta see this face. Look at this face. Oh, wrong thing. I clicked. You guys gotta see this face. It's so cute. Look at her face. Like, look at this face, dude. It's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, it's so adorable, man. Oh, this art's good. It's first chapter, man, and I'm loving it so much. <laughs> Dude, these faces, man. Okay, I gotta, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. I'm just appreciating this art. This art is just so good. It is so cute. Uh, which one of us will you go out with? I mean, I'm curious, too. What is he gonna select? I mean, <laughs> so choose the thick one. I mean, she does... Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. But, I mean, honestly, I don't know which one I would choose. They, uh, This man's in a difficult spot. Will he give an honest answer or will he dodge? This will definitely determine who he is as a character. So let's see this. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. I mean, he dodged, but he broke the fourth wall with like an ad cut. That's pretty good. You want to get your butt kicked? In any case, they'll want to hear from me tomorrow morning. Okay, so he, he, he didn't necessarily dodge it. He just delayed it for tomorrow. Okay. That's better than just saying no or dodging it or changing a combo. Okay. Well, at least he's going to give an answer, I'm assuming, the next day. Um, let's see. That's a win, dude. That's pretty fun. We'll be right back after these messages. Dude, the first episode of the anime is going to be so good for this. Like, imagine how hilarious this will be, like, animated. Like, I cannot imagine, like, the sound effects and stuff with that. Um, Hanazono and, uh... He's smiling, he's all happy, this makes a lot of sense. Aw, oh, jeez, I've done it now. Defeat the day where I'd have to deal with the hassle of two girls confessing to me would come. Me, the guy with 100 consecutive rejections. What a wonderful problem this has turned into. A few hours later, I really can't... <laughs> My man's reaction! He's in despair! My man is literally in despair, he's like, help! Help, help me! Oh, that's good. Both of these girls and the love delusions I can have with either of them are simply mesmerizing. My desire to go out with either of them is so maxed out right now that there's no way for me to choose. Is this what having a soulmate means? What am I even supposed to do? Right. This is how it is. Seeing as how your soulmates are all your ultimate love partner, when it's the best versus the best, you can compare all you want, but it's futile. It's just impossible to choose. I figured as much. Now, what about the people who share the same fate as me, those who met multiple soulmates at the same time? Yeah, about that. The truth is, originally, each human could only have one soulmate. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I'm understanding this right, okay, I, I, I'm putting a serious face on right now, okay? I'm going to try to look past the funniness and stuff. Let, let's put an actual analysis of this. So if I'm understanding this right, this means that all 100 girlfriends that he has met theoretically, he will be their soulmate and there is no other soulmate for them. Which basically means if he denies any of those 100, they will go for the rest of their life with never finding a soulmate. Forever basically condemning them to not find their true love, so to speak. That's kind of messed up. That puts a little bit of a, an anchor on the whole thing. So if he denies someone, he's theoretically saying you're not going to have really a good love life. Ooh, that's a little dark spin on that. That's a big oof. Like, that, that is a little bit of a sad thing right there, because that basically means that they will never be happy. So, if they're theoretically soulmates, would the option basically mean that he would need to go out with all of them? I would assume that's what this basically means. Because I know that seems like a scummy tactic, I know it is, but the fact is, is, like, if they're already soulmates... And he denies one of them. He's just making them to be miserable for the rest of their life. That, oh yeah, this got a little bit more darker than I expected. I, I legit did not expect this to kind of have this little debate. I mean, I know harems and rom coms could do stuff like this, but that that puts him in a situation. Th this is actually a believable, a believable decision now why he might want to push things off because now it's not just about himself. 
It's not just about, like, uh, him wanting to choose the girl he likes. It's about now also thinking of these girls' as future. And, like, is he willing to throw these other 99 girls basically under the bus just for his own personal happiness? It's kind of messed up. I mean, yeah, so th th this is interesting. I like this. Um, but, okay. But it just so happened that when you were born, a very important matter came up at the same time. And because of that, I, uh, I the god of love, made a huge mistake. And added two extra digits to your soulmate count. Say what? What was the important matter that came up? Let's see. They were playing Lapita on Kenyo Roadshow. What? 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 Should you really be watching TV while you're working? You're a god. Don't get me wrong, hear me out. It was my first time watching it, and it was right at the part where they were debating on whether or not to chant Balsi. And I see. If it was your first time seeing the Balsi scene, that it's understand- Wait, as if- Castle in the Sky. Oh, it's Castle in the Sky! Okay, that's the translation note right here. You you see that right there? It's Castle in the Sky. Okay, I, I, I just- I caught on. I caught on to the joke, okay? I was a little bit slow to that one, but it's Castle in the Sky. Makes sense. It's a very beautiful scene. That makes that makes a lot more sense. Okay, I, I, I completely understand why the man would mess up wanting to watch a Studio Ghibli film. <laughs> I mean, that would have been me with, like, uh, you know, Spirit Away. If I was sitting there watching, you know, Spirit Away, I'd probably uh, make a mistake, too. Wait, wouldn't him having 100 girlfriends cause Japan, uh, Japan's birth rate to stop entirely because the gene pool would be too narrow with all his children? I mean, I don't know. I mean, potentially. I mean, potentially. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong there. Um, how could you do this to my life? Um, why couldn't I have just met one of them? Then I could have been happy and wouldn't have to deal with this. To add to that, well, I don't know how should I break this to you. There's more. The truth is, for those who have met their soulmate, if they cannot fall in love with each other and be happy, they'll die from various unfortunate events shortly. Huh. Okay, this plot just got real interesting. Huh. So, if he denies any of his soulmates, they, they will die. That's a yikes. That is a literal yikes. Okay. I've said this before, but for those with a soulmate, that alone makes them exceptionally fortunate. However, because of this, this entire life's worth of fortune is used up on that one thing. And if they uh, let that good luck get away, naturally the only thing left would be bad luck. Then that means if I went out with just one of them, yeah, the other one would die. Are there really no other options left? What am I supposed to do here? Like I said, I'm really sorry about this. Wow, this got a little bit more serious than I expected. This, okay, so if he chooses one, he literally all 99 of them would die. Oh my goodness, that is... Okay, this is interesting now. Um, I went to that shrine to get rid of my worries, but now I just got a whole lot more to worry about. The one I'm not dating will die. What exactly should I do here? Maybe I could date Hana and Enda at the same time. Wait a minute. Is he about to try to date them without letting them know? No way. No way. No freaking way is he going to try that. No way is he going to try that. There, There is no way. Without letting either of them know. Tomorrow at the garden where I promise to give them my answer. Sorry, but I can't go out with either of you, is what I'll say. It, well, if you say that, that means they both die, man. That's what happens. Next, I'll just say this. I only said that because I didn't want to hurt the other person, but you're the one I want to go out with. But try not to let other people know so she doesn't find out. To each of them separately. Hmm. Then, uh, yeah, then I'll be able to go out with both of them without being exposed. And save both of them from death. The following day. Good morning, Ijo. So you really showed up. We're going to be late for homeroom, so hurry up and tell us your answer. Why do you look so dirty? Oh, uh, sorry. I had something to take care of. Hmm. Will he actually try to go out with both? Never doubt Chad Taro. 
So how cringy is this plot? The plot really isn't that cringy, actually. I think the plot's pretty good. It's not that bad. It's, like, for the, the world? Well, that's pretty believable. I think that legit. This is it's pretty good. It's a pretty solid start. I mean, I, I would, yeah, I would agree with uh, what uh, Kami just said. It's not cringe at all. I actually legit think this is a really, really non-cringy rom-com. Uh, so have you made up your mind about the confession? Yes. I would like to go out with both of you, please. Bro! What? Yo, what? What? Wait, wait a minute, wait. That is not what I expected. We didn't go down the... Huh? There was so many ways that this could have went. And this is not what I expected. I did not expect him just to straight up say, let me go out with both of you. What a Giga Chad. That is Giga Chad energy. Just straight up, he's not trying to lie, he's not trying to play games, he's just straight up just saying, let me go all both of you, like, I, you look, I don't care, like, yeah, it, 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 morally, yeah, it, it seems wrong, but the fact that he just straight up said it, and the offer, and the artist, all that didn't go, and it's like, okay, so, we're gonna fake that we're going out, or whatever, we're going out, just don't tell anyone, he does this with both girls, I mean, he proceeds to do this with every female character, I'm so happy we did not go down that route. Thank you so much. That is amazing. I mean, yes, the title does make it obvious. I know the title does, but there's many ways to handle this situation. For, once again, you could have Rentaro, the MC, trying to hide his relationship. Like, he's going out with a hundred different girls, but he's trying to manage all of them at once without letting them know that he's going out with them. That's what this series could have done. The fact he didn't go down that route, and he's just straight up, he's being honest with them, I respect him more than most of the rom-com harem MCs. I respect this man so much more for just being straight up honest and not lying. That, that is what I respect. He is not dense. He's not dumb. He's putting into the situation like, look, you know, the best I could do for both of them is that obviously I'm their soulmate. And if I deny both of them, they're going to die. So he just he threw it out there and he's like, go out with me. I respect this man. I legit respect this man a lot for that. Um, so as long as he's not down bad as Kazuya, then he is a good... I mean, right now, he seems to be good. He's self-aware. He's taking initiative. He realizes his, uh, like, what he needs to do. I like this character. I really do like him. Uh, I love Rintaro as much as he's the true best girl of the series. I was expecting some sitcom he gotta date most of them at the same end. I mean, I think that this is legit... This is a good way to handle it. There, there are so many ways. This is the best way. It, it was the best. It, this is the best option for the story. Because, like, it was the only way that it made sense. Uh, Chibi Nero Tamina Episode 9 has been postponed due to the impact of COVID-19. Of course it has. I mean, I talked to you guys about this, like, weeks ago. That it probably would get postponed again. That it wasn't really to be expected. Let's be honest. I mean, like, we all expected it. Uh, Girlfriend Girlfriend comes a few months later. So, yeah, I heard Nier got delayed again. Yeah, I just said it in chat. I saw that. Sad, but that's what happens, man. Uh, 100 Kanojo MC is greater than Kanojo Mo Kanojo. I, I have a red girlfriend girlfriend, so I can't really say anything about that. Remember the first uh, bag, Zero losing uh, heroin. Uh, what again? Gotta catch them all. He does gotta catch them all. Uh, okay, what the hell are you saying? Are you nuts? That reaction makes a lot of sense. I mean... I completely understand the negative reaction from the two female characters. I know how absurd a request this is. But, yeah, I'll be able to go out with both of them without being exposed and save both of them from death. See, see this is why I like that. I, I like, here's the thing. The fact that he's faking about that, like, yeah, they might not like that. But he doesn't have to play games. Like, he, he legit is keeping it open and honest to both of them. It makes it so much better. I think this is great. This is great dialogue. Um, have you caught up with Nagatoro? Because right now, in the anime, it's peak. I am up to date with the anime. I have not watched today's episode, because obviously, I'm streaming. But uh, I'm going to watch the episode today. I believe today's the finale. And then I'm going to be catching up with the Nagatoro manga. I actually own the whole Nagatoro manga. It's literally down there on my shelf below me. Um, this manga came out before Kanajo no Kanajo. I, I mean, that's... I'm assuming Kanajo no Kanajo follows the... Uh, 
the similar pattern. Chibi, you should watch Girlfriend Girlfriend. It has an anime? I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. I'll keep reading. I'm sorry. I I'm getting into this. I I'm loving chatting with you guys and reading this. Okay, so how stupid can I be? They both confess their feelings with such passion, and I should know this better than anyone. How much courage it takes to tell someone how you feel. Even if it's for the sake of saving their lives, there are just some things that a guy can't break himself to do. I really try, but I just can't make up my mind. Okay, I mean, I appreciate him being a little bit honest. It's a lie kind of thrown in there. He's basically, he's not telling them, like, if I, you know, tell you, like, I don't want to be out going out with you, you're going to die. He can't really say that, so it makes sense why he's kind of fudging it a little bit, and, you know, he's lying here. But I think that, you know, this is the best option. I love both of you so much, I just can't choose one of you. I may be two-timing, but that doesn't mean I'll let you guys suffer. I'll try my best to make both of you the happiest girls in the world, so I'm uh, begging you to please go out with me. What What do you take me for, trying to sweet-talk me here? There's no way I'll go through with this two-timing stuff. Pink for leaf clovers. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going back to the beginning. That's a Chad, that's a Giga Chad move. I really like that. You have two of them. Both of us together couldn't even find one. How did you get them? I've been searching for them since last night. Though, I... Oh, that's why he was dirty. Ah, that makes a lot more sense. That's why he was dirty. Homie found two. He did find two. I've been searching for them since last night, though. I needed a huge favor from the teacher to let me enter the school grounds. You're the one who helped me find my contacts. No problem. Go ahead. So that's why you're covered in mud. Are you an idiot or something? You're a high schooler and you freaking believe in that silly confession success charm thingamajig? In the sun, please stop. This is going to backfire and you're just going to end up ta uh, uh, taking me down with you. Ah, I get it. Hmm. The reason you looked for those rare four-leaf clovers that got all mud on that on you was all so you could show us how sincere you are, am I right? Hey, she's asking the true questions. I, I, I think that's a logical thing for her to say. Nothing wrong with that. Using a cheap trick like that just so you could two-time us is despicable. I'll never accept it. I mean, once again... This reaction is completely acceptable. It really is acceptable. I see nothing wrong with the Sunere character, you know, saying this. It's, yeah, I, I, I legit think this is an honest and realistic reaction. Nothing wrong. Huh? Sorry, but that was never my intention in the first place. Then what was, huh? Now, now, Indusan, just because you had a huge swing and a miss with your big smug panel from earlier... <sighs> <laughs> Does it mean you should start going wild? I mean, look, you guys really gave it your all just to find these uh, uh, four-leaf clovers. So I figured you both probably like romantic confessions where there's some sort of love charm involved. That's why I thought it would make you guys happy. If I were the one to confess while giving you guys these. Oh, the reversal nosebleed. That's not something you see every day. I appreciate that. I appreciate the, uh, like, the, the reversal nosebleed from the female characters as he's being, like, a giga chat saying, like, here, go out with me. That is, okay, this is great. Okay. I see now. Understood. If you say this is what you want to do, Anjo, or I, I, I Joe, uh, then I uh, don't mind you two typing us. Huh? Now you're even saying weird stuff. I can't help it. I like Ijo Kun so much. I like him so much I can't even imagine falling in love with anyone else. That's right, compared to being rejected by him and not being able to be together, letting him be a two-timer doesn't even matter to me. I mean, it makes sense who, what kind of character she is. Makes sense. Uh, I'll be in your care from here on out, Rintaro, right? If you can't make us happy, I'll never forgive you. Hmm. So she's basically accepting it. Oh, were you the one who was so insistent on not going through with being two-timed? I never said I wouldn't go out with him. I promise... I'll make sure you two are happy. And thus, a poly relationship the world has never seen had begun. However, do not forget that Rintaro still has 98 more soulmates. What will you do, Rintaro? Are you going to leave every other soulmate you encounter to their own fate, or are you going to love them all? 100 time them. Are you going to 100 time them? Soulmates remaining 98 out of 100. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's all I'm going to say. Like, what? What a series, man. What a series. This is legit. This is a good one. This is a really good series. Like, I can see now why people like 
uh, like this manga. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to keep reading. Don't worry. I, I, I plan to read quite a bit today, so don't worry about that. We're going to keep reading. The stream is just now still early. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is legitimately, this is what you call a good rom-com. That, for first impressions, I'm pretty impressed. I really am impressed by just how good this series is so far. That was just the first chapter, by the way. That was just the first chapter, and it was that good. Yes, I'm gonna read more. I'm gonna read more, don't worry. Uh, this gets even better. Good start. Yeah, don't worry, guys. We're going to continue. Don't worry. The stream isn't done yet. We're, we're going to continue and all that. But uh, since Nier Automata anime delayed again, I'm going to sing Ashes of Dreams and Crying. Dude, oh, it's so sad Nier is delayed. I mean, I expected it, but uh, <sighs> knowing how it's going, it probably will be pushed off until the next anime season. That's what I'm going to assume. Um, anyways, let's continue reading. I want to get right into this. I'm, I'm really enjoying this series. I think everybody else is too. One hour for one chapter. Great work, Chibi. You won't end until, uh, you won't end until chapter 20. Dare you. I mean, I want to keep streaming. I'll stream as long as I can until either my power gives out, internet gives out, i hungry and dying, whatever, but, uh, or I feel it was a good stopping point, but I want to keep reading. I think chat is enjoying this. I'm enjoying it, and I think everybody's having a good time, so obviously, you know, let's, uh, let's continue reading. Um, but yeah, let, let's start. So can you believe this? So for the first time in my life, I'm actually dating someone, and I'll be doing the so-called going to school together with your girlfriend thing that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Not only that, I will be with both of them at the same time. Good morning, Rentaro-kun. Where are you t uh, talking to that pole just now? Wait, what? Oh, he was talking to a pole. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That didn't even click in my head. Oh, my. He's literally... It is sweating. I just saw that. Yeah, the, the telephone pole is sweating. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Uh, morning, ha uh, Hanazono. In the sun. Uh, what? Wonderful weather we're having today. Oh, grabs his hand! Just straight up goes to the hand. Uh, right, yeah. Wonderful weather. Forward. Uh, uh, yeah, forward, yeah. Okay, so smooth, so soft, so small, so warm. So this is what a girl's hand feels like. My man, you had your hand held in the last chapter. For what I've read in a book, approximately 90% of males like to hold hands with their lovers. I... I would say that's accurate. I, I, I think that's a very accurate assessment. It's big. It's bony. So this is a guy's hand. Ah, yes. <laughs> that came off as perfectly natural. What wonderful weather. It's so muscular and manly. What? 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 What kind of weather is that? Okay, so now we got the tsundere. Can she grab? Dude, look at all. Oh, she's so cute, man. She's so cute. She is so cute with her. Dude, her expressions. Look at that. Look at that guy. A chat. Look at that. Look at how her expression is. Oh, my heart, man. My heart is so good. Oh, yeah. I would say so far she's best girl. She is my favorite right now. Easily. Okay, so let's hold hands to in the sun. Hmm. I ain't really interested, but if I get zapped by some random static electricity, I want to make sure the same thing happens to you, so I'll let you hold my hand. Oh my goodness. That'd make you a beery deary, not a tsundere. The weather sure is great. Jeez. Yeah, great weather. The weather really is wonderful. Students these days sure do care a lot about the weather. Ah, uh, what's up with him? I like him. I love him. I've never felt this happy in my entire life. Thank you. I love you too. I like you. I like you. I like oh my goodness. That reminds me, Hana Zono, uh, in the, for class today, what's wrong? Um, well, I'd, it'd make me happy if you could call me by my first name. Uh, Hakari. Yes, Rintaro. Aww, that's a sweet little... Wait, wait guys, you gotta see this. Look, 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 look at this. This is so cute. Look at her little face right there, dude. Like, she's, she's blushing, man. That's so cute. Oh, it's so adorable, man. My heart, my heart right now. Uh, Rentaro, yes, I ain't ta uh, talking to you here. Then who are you calling out to? Uh, Karane. Uh, say my name without honor fixes as well. Huh? Then Hikari. Rentaro, Hikari, Rentaro, Karane. 
uh, Rotaro, Rotaro, oh my goodness, they're just repeating their names. That They're just, they're literally repeating their names, and that is, that's cute. I like both the girls, they're adorable. I agree, the, the girls in this series are very, very adorable. Straight up, like, very well written. To me, uh, Vakuro and uh, Karane. Uh, the artist can really do some cute faces. The artist really does know how to do some cute faces. I completely agree. Um, okay, so Rintaro, are they fighting or something? Stop right there. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Is that Sensei her what? You don't know her? She's the vice principal and- Wait, is he- Wait, is this gonna be- Wait, is this gonna be the other girl? Extremely strict when it comes to school regulations. If you were to run in the hallway in plain sight of her, she's gonna chase you until you're caught and give you a deep kiss as a form of mental punishment. Wait, what? Not only that, she used to be a track and field athlete. Nobody has ever successfully outrun that kiss. She's also known as the Hag Closet, or uh, the Hag Closest to supersonic speeds in this world. I can't believe a monster like her exists in this school. By the way, Rentaro-kun, have you ever kissed someone? Uh, nope. You guys are my first girlfriends ever. That means we'll be his first kisser. Whoever kisses him first and whatever. Oh my goodness, the competition! <laughs> oh my goodness! Lunch break. I was the one who suggested this, but I'm, it's a bit breezy out right now, so I'm sure nobody would want to be up here. Well, that's only natural, but thanks to that, I don't have to worry about other people watching. They got a kitty up here. Um, would you like to try the Tama Goyaki I made? Huh, sure. Say, uh oh, he's getting fed. How was it? The best thing in the entire galaxy. I didn't make this for you, but I did bring cookies that I baked myself. Really? So open your mouth. <gasps> oh, my man! Oh! I feel the yo! <laughs> my man's eye, bro! Oh! Oh! That looks so painful. <laughs> my man's poor eye. Dude, look at his eye, man. It's like cookie shoved into it. Oh, that is, oh, that, like, dude, when, uh, when eyes get injured and stuff, like, man, that, that stuff looks incredibly painful. Like, oh, Oh, goodness gracious, dude. That looks awful. Like, imagine straight up, like, getting hit by a cookie in the face like that. He's eating with his eye. I agree, Fran. That's pretty funny. He's eating with his eye. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that you died. Yeah, it's the Dark Souls theme right here. Just cue the Dark Souls music. You died. Uh, his eyes made of titanium. Like, seriously, his eyes must be really strong to take that. Uh, Chantaro, now big boss. Okay, that's my eye socket. Okay. Uh, the best thing in the entire ga- Dude, my man's eye is shoved in. How many galaxies are we talking about here? And I bought, uh, Baki. Uh, I'm assuming Pocky, obviously, for dessert. Huh. Every single stick grip has broken off. I'd get my hands dirty if I held them. You got a terrifying management system. And I was hoping to feed you too, Rintaro. I'll go get more Baki. That's a reference to something. I don't know what that is here. Wait a minute, I'll show you guys. Um, this image right here, for Rintaro, what he's drawn as, that is a reference. I recognize that art. I just don't know what that's referencing. But that is clearly an art style reference. But, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to point that one out because that is pretty interesting. I mean, I, I love references like that. Um, let's see, the Pocky game. Oh, the Pocky game with the kisses. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's what they're going to be doing. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. That is literally what they're going to do. Isn't this the Pocky? Yeah. The Pocky game. Her face is so close. So cute. So cute. So cute. Dude, the cute. Oh, my goodness. Her face is so cute. Her face is adorable, man. This artist is so good with the art. So good. Her face is so close. Holding it in my mouth makes me want to eat this right now. And the game's already begun. Uh, the, the, the sooner he's like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Uh, okay, force myself in. That'll get the first kiss. 
Oh my god, no! Dude, stop hitting this man's eye! Bro, stop it! He doesn't need this! My man's gonna go blind! He's gonna go blind! Stop it! Why the eyes, man? Dude, stop hitting him! Oh, there was a $5 donation from, uh, Jose. Thank you very much. Why were you not- uh, why we are not 100 girlfriends yet? We get actual character development. To think 100 girlfriends started as a joke, and now they're forced to make 100 different girlfriends. I mean, I'm loving this, man. I'm loving this series. It's... It's... <laughs> I have eye, though. Dude, stop hitting this man in the eye. He's gonna go blind. Oh, yeah. You got a crutch against my right eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just I, I I I love comedy, dude. Good comedy gets me. I'm a simple man. I, if I see good comedy, I laugh. Achu. Okay. Wait. Did she just stab him again? Wait. Is she stabbing him? No. She broke it in his. Oh, she broke the pocky in his eye. Oh. Oh my man. I'm so sorry. Oh uh, my pocky went all brokey. Oh uh, sorry. I just. Could you have caught a cold? Uh. Don't this. When that happens, you gotta infect others through mouth to mouth. You know what they say, give it to others and you'll be cured. What are you, the ace striker of the superstitious world? Yo. Yo, the tsundere being forward. <laughs> she going in for the kiss, dude. She going for the kiss. Ha wa ha wa wa wa. Her face is so close and so cute, so cute, so cute. They're gonna pull a hat trick on me. Oh my goodness. She's going in for the kiss. Wait a moment. We're not sure he's caught a cold yet. We have to check whether or not he has a fever first. I like how she knocks her out with her chest. Like, just, she literally pushes aside her, just like, boink, just completely out of the way. That's pretty funny. Um, okay, it just so happens that in my household, well, we not only measure temperature with our forehead, but also with direct lip contact. Please understand. <laughs> I don't even think a hostess bar would get into some weird culture like that. No, no, you gotta do CPR to check his temperature. Now faint. Your logic's full of holes and in more ways than one. Whoa, calm down. What's going on with you two? Why are you guys being so persistent? Don't tell me that you guys have been trying to kiss me this whole time. Giga chat energy! He realized! Bro! Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to say right now, this is going down as a legendary series. The fact that he just realized that they're trying to kiss him, and he just straight up says it. I love that. Thank you so much for not wasting my time and everybody else's time that is reading this series. For him to just straight up say, you're trying to kiss me. Like, dude. Oh, it's so relieving because i hate that so much with dense mcs they're like what are you trying to do why are you doing a pocky game with me why are you trying to give me cpr why are you trying to kiss me to check my temperature like dude it's obvious they're trying to kiss you thank you so much that he obviously knows what's going on i appreciate this more than you realize this is great like, seriously th this is what i like I i'm so happy my time is not being wasted like I cannot believe a rom-com series about a guy dating basically going to be 100 girls is having this much progression so early on. Like, this right here is just... This is beautiful. Um, okay, let's continue reading. Uh, textbook case of being right on the money. Nothing sure gets past you. So that's why they're being so pushy. They want to kiss me. That's just way too sweet. Oh, I like the art style shift right here. Uh, you guys could have just asked me. I want to try it too, but... What's the word kisses out in the open? The question of who gets the first one will pop up. That is true. So he's basically selecting favorites if he chooses. So, huh. How would he solve this problem? Obviously, they're going to be an answer probably given. How would he solve this? Like, that, that they're really, this is a difficult one because he is right. Whoever he kisses theoretically first will be his first kiss. And we're already so early on within the story that if, like, theoretically he kisses someone in this chapter, all the other girlfriends, the other 98, will never get this chance. 
So, I am curious on how this would be done. By the way, I noticed, man, the the artist really likes drawing her thick. I just, I wanted to point that one out. Like, holy crap. Um, anyways, let's keep reading. Uh, that's Phoenix Wright writing. Uh, hey, uh, is it? I, I, I don't know. Plot twist, he eats the... Oh, what? <laughs> okay, that's why you try to snatch it away from me before that happened, am I right? Wait, the question... Okay, yeah. Uh, you're the one to talk. I see, so that's why. Your guys were competing against each other, but don't worry. I thought this might happen, so I came up with the perfect plan for this yesterday. He came up with a plan yesterday, but we only started dating yesterday. Well, he's putting a lot of thought in this. I appreciate that. Well, truth be told, I couldn't sleep at all last night since I kept thinking about what my future will be like with you two. So I spent the whole night thinking about every possible scenario that would make both of you the happiest girls in the world. Oh, okay. How can he keep getting better as an MC? How is he getting better with his dialogue? Like, this is crazy. Like, the way he's putting thought into it, he's thinking about him, it's just like, dude. Uh, we got a donation from Roddy. Thank you very much for the $5 donation. Hope you have been well, been following you for a long time. Glad to see the channel so strong. Much love, Chibi. Be safe. Much love to you and much love to all of you out there currently watching the stream. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully everybody is having a good time, because I know I am. This is fun. Um, okay, so and for the question of who's the first kisser going to be, I figured it'd be best if none of us knew who the first kisser was. Huh? Who's the first kisser? No clue. That way it'd lead to equal odds for being, uh, either of you being the first kisser. And it would avoid the situation of feeling out of place or inferior about who's the first kisser and not the first kisser among all of us. Hmm, I guess I kind of understand what you're ch saying, but how are you going to make it so none of us know the order of the kiss? That's right, even if we did this separately, Rintaro would still know and only him. That's why we'll be using these. Music players, dice, and eye mask. Let's start off by passing these around. Next over there will be the designated spot where you two will stand. Then I'll turn around, put in the earbuds, and start playing the music. Each of our players are set to high volume, and will repeat the song Hajimete no Chu once you press the play button. I'm assuming this is a reference. Uh, the song name means first kiss. We recommend listening it to for the next scene. Uh, I can't play it because of copyright. Um, oh, we got another... Uh, do uh, what Oh, thank you very much for the donation as well. Um, the live stream is awesome. Thanks for the awesome content, Chibi. We appreciate that. I appreciate all of you too. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Um, uh, see, the names have puns in them. The names have puns in them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, why Hajimete no Chu? Uh, in any case, this way I won't be able to use sound to figure out uh, where you two will be standing. Afterwards, each of you will roll a die to... Decide where you'll stand on the previous established designated spot. The one who rolls the larger number will be standing on the right, and the other person will be on the left. This will randomize where you two will be standing, and I won't be able to figure out who's who at either spot. Then you guys will put on your eye mask, wear your earbuds, play music, and forward me a signal through line. Once I get both of your signals, I'll roll my dice twice and count down the number of seconds. From the uh, combined number I get from the rolls ranging from 11 to 66, once that's done, I'll roll my die once more, and put on my eye mask after that, after I know what I rolled. If the number is odd, I'll be going from right to left, and the opposite direction, if it's even, I'll uh, then walk to each of your positions and kiss both of you. At that point, since a random amount of time ranges from 11 to 66 seconds have passed, Neither of you will be able to predict the order of the kiss because of how long you have to wait. After I've kissed both of you, I will go back to where I started and do the same random cow, uh, time count once more. Once that's done, I'll send you guys a signal to notify you both. That's when you guys roll the die again and go to your spots according to the number. This way I won't know where you guys were standing when I kissed you. You two will then send a signal to me to let me know and we'll all take off our earbuds and that's the end of our plan. We'll... What we'll be left with after that will be the happy memories of getting the first kiss from the person we love for each of us. Finn. That has to be one of the most complicated but wholesome plans I have ever seen for a kiss. Bro. I am just... I am just in awe. 
I, I, I gotta drink a sip of coffee after that. Just give me a sec. I am in awe. That, that is... I am in awe. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll keep saying it. I, I cannot believe what I just read. That is honestly surprising how far he would go to uh, make them appreciate their first kiss. The fact he won't know either makes it so much better. I really love this series. I really love this series. Like, uh, I know I, there's an element of this series that I'm reading that I'm enjoying it thanks to sharing it with all of you. I know that's a, a big element to it, but damn. I did not think that he would put this much thought into this. The, the writer really does think about a lot. Like, I appreciate that. Yeah, he wrote a whole thesis. Like, seriously. I I know not a lot of people are probably going to care about this. Like, they're going to look at this and then they're not ever going to think about it. But the fact that the writer put this amount of effort into this, but also the character, Rintaro, did this to respect both of them, really shows he's not, like, he's not half-assing this. He's not. He, he really is trying his best. He really is trying his best to make these two very happy in the best way he can, and I think that is the sweetest and most wholesome thing I have seen in a while. And it's crazy this has to be a rom-com. That is honestly... Wow. Okay, I want to I keep reading. That just... My respect for this series is pretty high right now. I really do like this. I really love this manga. That's amazing. Not even I could think of a brilliant plan like that. It's just like Liar Game. Just a second here. You'd be able to cheat all you want, like taking your mask off in the middle of it, right? That is true. I was thinking about that, which what the, the Sundere is saying makes a lot of sense. And the other two wouldn't know. You're right. That's why for the finishing touch, we're going to implement a fell safe. A fell safe. We're going to pinky swear that we absolutely will not cheat. And now the logic stock market just crashed. <laughs> so it's just basically an honesty game. It's about putting trust in each other. It, it, it's literally just about can we put trust in each other and promise not to cheat. I mean, I think this is also very nice because obviously, yes, there is always that element of someone can cheat and see who gets kissed first. But at the same time, why do that when obviously the person you love went through so much effort to do this? Like, he went through so much effort to design this. And obviously, it's not 100% flawless. At this point now, it's a trust game. Do you really love him? If you do, you'll go along with it. I think that's definitely what this means. I think this is great. I mean, that trillion letter page? I can't wait to get to that. I, I really can't. That's going to be fun. Uh, let's see. Are you stupid? How would that get people to follow through? Tell me. Well, I think most people would keep the promise or else they get a needle stuck in their eye and go blind. Now, how uh, pure are you? Cross my heart and hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. Well, even, well, even if uh, you guys break the promise, I'll take that cross and needle to the eye myself. I'll fall through even if it kills me. Okay, now, then let's get started. Feels like a crime is about to happen. <laughs> oh my goodness. E uh, even so, I started from the left. Okay, so with the designated spot that we decided... So I'm assuming she's left or is the series going to lie to us as well? That 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 is something I want to mention. Is the series going to play with us? Because obviously the series is very meta. Like, it's been trying to be very meta. Will we know where these girls are at in their spots? Will we, will we the, be the only ones that actually know who he kisses first? Or is the series going to lie to us? I am curious about that. That is actually interesting if the series would do that. Um, okay, so with the designated spot that we decided on earlier, the left side should be right around here. Ah, but how far should I lean forward when I ev uh, don't even know the correct distance? Headbutting would be bad here. I know what to do. Okay, I'll just start by placing my hand on her shoulder. How he figured it out shall never be disclosed. It's okay if it's you, Rintaro. I don't mind even if you go even for Please don't cherish it like it's the most important thing in the world. Sorry, uh, uh, Karne, uh, but we're gonna need a do-over. A do-over? What happened? Uh, nothing really. 
what the something did have in it then. Okay. So they did a do over. Okay. I I okay. <laughs> Okay, they did a straight new over. Okay. Bro, what in the world? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Rotaro, what are you for real? The cat. Bro, the cat. Bruh. You're just doing whatever you want, huh? We gotta need a duo. <laughs> That is pretty funny. What happened? This seems okay in Fury, but for a kissing game as eccentric as this, it's better suited for veterans with more experience in love. For rookie lovers with no experience in kissing, it's not quite something they can handle. Bro! Did he just get bent? He just got folded! Oh my goodness! I never thought kissing would be this difficult. Movies and TV dramas really make it look easy. I knew, uh, I knew a plan as stupid as this wouldn't run smoothly. Rintaro's plan was perfect. It's just the, uh, the people that are the problem. Huh? What are you saying? It's my fault? I didn't say it was only you. First off, just wh uh, what kind of kiss were you tr two trying to do? What do you two always look so rattled after each attempt? Hey, calm down. If you want to talk about that, then answer this. Why does Kintaro look more and more beat up after each of your attempts? Stop hurting my Rintaro. <laughs> oh, did I say Kintaro? I meant Rintaro. I, 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 I meant Rintaro. I don't know why I'm saying Kintaro. Uh, Rin, uh why does he stay uh, looking more beat up? <laughs> You're Rintaro, Cody. He's my Rintaro. He is mine. He is mine. Enough already. You guys, stop fighting, please. The one at fault here is me. I'm the one who holds the seeds of conflict for the first kiss. And since I'm not a reliable boyfriend because I have no experience in love, I... He's running. He is... He, dude, the man might die. Rintaro dying for his first kiss. I mean, seriously, he is legit dying. He's running away. This kind of makes sense. He's trying his best here. It, it makes sense why he's running. Rintaro, where are you going? Vice Principal! <sighs> no... No! 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 I know what's about to happen. We all know. Let's just be honest. We all know what's about to happen. Oh. Oh, no. He is sacrificing himself. My man, he is, he, 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 he's doing the, the warrior's way. <laughs> yeah, the warrior's way, man. He sacrificed himself. No. And yeah, F in chat, everybody. Let's have an F. He's literally, he's sacrificing himself. Oh, poor lad. Whatever you call, be there. And, and how dare you run in the hallway. You shall be punished with a deep kiss. At this rate, Rintokun will be... Oh my goodness, she jumped in. Your your laugh makes low-level monsters weep. Take this whip of love. Oh, oh, holy crap! Holy crap! The tsundere straight... Well, okay, guys, you gotta see this. Look at her grabbing her throat. Like, oh! <laughs> Bro! That's brutal! Oh my goodness, that is brutal! Bruh! What the hell, dude? She is just grabbing her by the throat. Um, okay. Do you honestly think it's a good idea for a student to camel clutch a teacher? And what makes you think giving a student a deep kiss is better? Uh, uh, uh this isn't a board of education inspector. Please come quick. We have a bonus for you. A teacher is engaging in misconduct. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lie for all to see. That's all you're getting from me today. I can't lose my position yet. I gotta keep working hard so I can continue giving deep kisses to young guys from the Delivery Host Club. You guys. Rotaro, why did you do that? 
I care deeply for both of you, and I know it's selfish of me to ask this, but I really want the people I love to get along with each other. But despite all of that, I do hold this seed of conflict for the first this first kiss. And if that's how it's going to be, then this first kiss is probably better off being thrown into a ditch, the vice principal. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Man. Okay. Red Taro, if you're going to let that despicable vice principal steal it away, then letting uh, Karane-san or Hakari have it is a million times better. Okay? Got that? Oh, wow. They are allowing each other to get the first kiss. That's nice. That's nice. That's very, very nice. The way they're pointing at each other. Oh. <laughs> they're shocked. They're like, huh? Is that so? I was 100% certain that neither of you would want the other person to have it, since you two are love rivals and all. I can't say I don't feel that way, but when I see uh, Karate uh, San, I get what you mean. I know how much Hakari loves you too, just from looking at her. The hell are you doing? Oh, he hugged him! Oh, he's hugging him! Bro, he's hugging him! Oh, that is so cute! Oh, I love it! Dude, he's just hugging him! He bear hugging him! Oh! Oh, their faces! Oh! Oh, I love you! Oh, she's I love you! Uh, geez, I'm the one who's overthinking things here. I'm so happy! Oh! Dude, if that's the case, I actually have an even better plan. If that's the case, I actually have... Oh, yeah, if that's the case, I have an uh, even better plan. What? You want all three of us to kiss at the same time? What? Bro, what? Yep, we'll all kiss at the same time. This so-called plan is actually the first idea I thought of, though it does have one problem. In order for the plan to work well... It's not just me you'll be kissing, but each other as well. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yuri Tom, boys! Oh my goodness! Bro! Is this series gonna do that? No freaking way! No freaking way this series is doing this. There, there's no way. There is no way this... Like, it's already been a Giga Chat energy from Rintaro and from just this series. There is no way we are about to have a Yuri kiss like this. There's just no way. No freaking way. There, there's no way. There's... There's no way. I, 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 something's going to happen. Something is going to happen to stop it. I'm going to say that right now. There is no way that's going to happen. I, I am, there's no way. I've seen too much manga and too much anime. It's Yuri bait. That's what it is. It's straight Yuri bait. That, that, that's exactly what I think it is. There's no way that's going to happen. But we'll see. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I will say, hands down, this might be the best rom-com I've ever seen. Like, straight up. Like, this is... We'll see. Okay. Uh, which is why I scrapped it since you uh, you guys are rivals and wouldn't like the idea. But don't worry. The two of you know all of us can definitely do this. Don't just get excited whenever you want. So they're holding hands. Okay, we already got more hand holding. They're going in for a kiss. We apologize that this image looks like some people trying to summon a UFO on the roof. Wait, did they just kiss? No freaking way. This is a chant used to summon a UFO in Japan where space is replaced with love, love. Did they? No. No way. No way. No freaking way this just happened. 
Okay, let me click next chapter. I gotta see. I, I just, I gotta see. Okay, so it's not even gonna show up. They kissed. That was two chapters, man. We had a kiss. We had hand-holding. We had hug. We had confession. We had literally going out with girlfriends, plural. Two chapters. Two chapters. Two freaking chapters. I want to point this out. Two chapters. We had that. You realize how long stuff like that takes in a manga? Like, if you have read a rom-com, if you have read even a romance, just not even a rom-com, but just one female love interest, the kiss doesn't usually happen until like 30 chapters in. Maybe 50. The fact that just happened in two chapters is... Bro, what? This is... Oh my goodness. There are supposed to be a hundred of them. I mean, yes, I know he's getting a hundred girlfriends, but still, the fact that this happened so early, this is a good series. Oh my goodness, why have I not read this sooner? Like, why have I not read this? It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Are you going to review the latest chapter of Black Clover? The double spreadsheet in, in, uh, at the end is by far my favorite. I have not read the chapter of Black Clover yet. I'll have to read that later. Um, we recommend it to you. I mean, dude, this is... This is good, man. This is this is a good series. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. We're gonna keep reading now, boys and girls that are watching the stream. Uh, I would say the only downside of the series is not being able to read other harem series while comparing it to Kano Joe by default. I mean, I will tell you right now, okay? Once again, I'm not someone that's read every rom com harem stuff out there, but I've seen enough to kind of see the general vibe, cliche, and stuff of it. And so far, this series is going very strong. I'm worried stuff that's gonna happen. That's going to degrade in quality. I am very worried about that happening. Because, obviously, this is just such a strong start. I just, I don't know how this series can keep this momentum. And not fall down. Because this is strong. This is a very strong and powerful start to a series. I, I just, I worry something's going to happen. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so got some business at the library. I was thinking of checking out some books on cooking. You really enjoy the Tama uh, Koyaki I made the other day, so I'd like to try making all sorts of food for you, Rintaro. Ain't that a coincidence? I was thinking of looking up some dishes recently, too. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have a cooking competition. Uh, no spoilers, please. Yeah, please no spoilers. I mean, I'm trying to keep this, like, uh, you know, just, like, just actually, you know, read this spoiler-free. Uh, okay. Uh, it ain't meant for you. Wait, what would she say? It ain't meant for you. I didn't say any- Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, I love how she's keeping these tsundere antics. Uh, personally, I think it gets even better. If it does, I'm ha I'm all for it. I don't wish any bad on this series. I want this series to get better. I just, I've, I've seen so many good manga that's like, manga that start off really good, just a grade. I really hope this doesn't, because this is great. I didn't say anything, need any help with the book search, it's fine. You need to look forward to what I'll be making. Uh, what's this? Dishes that'll grab your lover's heart, uh, recipe collection. Hey, uh, Karane-san, let me take a look as well. Quit, uh, pulling on it. I found it first. It's fine, just let me see. Don't get cheeky with me. Come on, you two, get along. You guys have already kissed each other. <sighs> so if you denied it, if you felt it didn't happen... Oh my goodness, it's not Yuri bait. Or, like, it wasn't Yuri bait, it wasn't fake, it happened. I am so happy we got confirmation. That's so good. That is so good. The fact he just straight up said it lets us, it throws all that to the side. We can't say, no, they didn't really do it, something happened. They kissed. That is confirmation. Wow. Wow. Absolutely freaking wow. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, 129 chapters so far. Yeah, that's what I've been told. 
Oh, okay, that's the only because you said that we didn't have any other choice. I'm kidding. I finished reading all the books I brought recently, too. Or I bought recently, too. I wonder if they have anything interesting here. Love. Oh, I'm assuming this is the third character. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is the new girl. Okay, she's cute. She's got a cute design. This means she, uh, this shock I just felt. It's the same as the one I had when I first met Hakari and Karane. That means she's my soulmate. Oh, she's a shy, okay, I can tell she's a shy bookworm. That's, that's exactly what this character is. I'm going to assume she's a shy bookworm. Please go ahead. Let's see. She wants me to read this line. So she's shy. So can she not speak? I'm assuming. I be the one who governs this land. <laughs> what? Ah, you you're you're you mean you're part of the student library staff? Okay, so she's shy. She can't talk. Okay, so that that's what I'm getting from this exchange. It's as you say. What's up with this? Could this be because we're not supposed to talk in the library? Uh, what did you come here to search for exactly? For I have done all I can to help you. Let's see. Novels, interesting, romantic ones. I really like how she's pointing to the book to, like, speak for her. That's really cute because basically this is, like, a little quirk of her. She has something to point at, and it kind of goes with her personality. She likes books, obviously. She's a part of the library squad and all that. I, I think that's a little cute trait. Uh, why do you not speak with your mouth? You're one to talk. Wait, what? Oh, she's like, why do you not speak with your mouth? Points to him because he's doing these weird hand movements. And he says, you want to talk. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. That's that's cute. Um, way better than Comey. I mean, I like Comey. I, I, I really do enjoy Comey. My apologies, for she is incredibly poor at making conversation. Wow. The fact that she, like, knows the book to this level to point at that is actually kind of wild. I'll call someone over, uh, someone else over. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry about that. I didn't know you. Would you mind helping me out then? So I really like romance novels, and I was wondering if you got any worth reading. Uh, and impossible ones with happy endings. The kind where lovers live happily ever after. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, her little face! Oh! That's so cute. Oh, this this is me, man. Like, when I get someone to ask me for a recommendation, like, they ask for something, like, and I have a bunch of stuff nearby, and I can just start pulling stuff out. This is me. That is literally me. That is straight me, dude. I get just so happy. to like, oh, this series, this series, this series, this series. <laughs> I do. This is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she may be tiny, but she's really giving everything she's got, all for my sake. That's some dedicated. Holy crap, that's a lot of books. Goodness, I'm sorry, this must have caused you a lot of trouble. Go ahead and just choose the ones you like. Now, you worked hard to get them for me. I'll be sure to give each one a read. You know, judging by how dedicated he is as an individual, what he's did with his plan so far, I'm inclined to believe that he would probably read them all. I, I'm assuming. I'll borrow them all. Of all first-timers, uh, have to get a library card. It'll be weeks before it arrives. Please come back again next week. What a cruel rule. Huh? This, that book, it's yours, right? It doesn't have a barcode. Huh? You want to lend it to me? Oh, Thanks, really. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Yoshimoto Shizuka. Wait, we're in the same class. Sorry about that. I'm still trying to remember all of my classmates' faces. I'm Aijo Rintaro. Thank you so much for Yoshimoto. Uh, thank you so much, Yoshimoto. Uh, sir, uh, circlet love story. It's a story, a love story about Princess Io and her, uh, knight. Uh, where the face countless challenges and fate itself. So a typical traditional love story. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, wow, we got some people in the chat that don't like Comey, huh? Man, that, that's sad to see that there's a lot of people that, uh, don't like, uh, Comey. I, I think it's pretty cute. Um, anyways, don't give up, uh, uh, Kamasil, uh, don't resign yourself to fate, overcome all the obstacles in your way, and get that happiness with your beloved princess. That's the end of volume one. Soulmates, if they cannot fall in love and find happiness, they will die. Yoshimoto, here you go, and thanks. Well, it was so interesting that I read the whole thing last night. Oh, her little shocked face. <laughs> like, look at that. That's so cute. Straight cute. Oh, she puts it in her bag. 
Uh, could that book be... Oh, she has another... Oh! Oh, my heart! That is so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. She had the next book ready because she was excited for him to read. Oh. Oh. That's so sweet, man. Oh, goodness. You uh, brought the sequel. Wow, thanks. Wondering what happens next has really been bugging me. I've, I've done nothing but borrow things from you. I know. I know. Could you come with me for a bit? Uh, these animal-shaped nuggets are so cute. Uh, I'm going to try and make them. Hey, don't copy me. What? I said it first. That's already the friendliest I've seen them be towards each other. Don't worry about it. This is for letting me borrow your book. So you read lots of books, right? Nod. Thought so. I guess that's how you know all sorts of interesting ones. I feel like I've read a pretty wide selection when it comes to the romance genre, but that one blew my mind. It really gives me butterflies in my stomach, and the adventure's really something, too. This is me right here, enjoying a good romance. Like, th this is legit me. Like, sitting down and enjoying something really good. Uh, Chibi, please can you get the latest Boruto episode- Oh, wait. Can you watch the latest Boruto episode tomorrow? I'll be honest, it's pretty peak and gives you uh, give your honest thoughts. Uh, we'll see. Uh, this is one, uh, this one is my absolute favorite too. It helped me through my childhood. I have read this part over and over. I see it all makes sense now. It's your method of speaking, Yoshimoto-san. You just flip through the pages and find the line you want to say in an instant. For you to be able to do that, you'll uh, have to know all the passages in this book down to the tiny details. I've never read anything that, uh, that thoroughly before, so I find that incredibly amazing. I ain't I am not worthy of such words, for it is but a skill that came to me naturally. This is just the kind of person I am, and because of that, in all the days I have lived, there has never been someone I could call my friend. Oh, So, technically, Rintaro would be her first friend. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. Her first friend would be him. Uh, that is, wow. The only moral support I have in this world is found here. So the only thing she has is her books. Thank you very much for staying by my side and not hating me for how I act. Hate you. That's... Sorry about this, but do you mind if I borrow that volume again? Thanks, now let's get back before it gets late. The next day. Two days later. Three days later. You seem pretty tired recently, Rintaro. Well, I've been working on a couple of things late at, at night lately. Oh, she's seeing the kiss. She's, uh, she's precious. She's very cute. She, she's a very sweet and endearing character. The fact that she basically only communicates through books, I think, is just adorable. And also shows a little bit of a sadness to her because she's obviously never been able to communicate with people. I think that's clearly what it shows. She, she just can't talk with people. And Rintar is probably the first person she's really ever got to talk with in a long time. So I think that is very sweet. It, it, he's not just going to be like her friend, but obviously her boyfriend eventually. I think that is just very sweet that he's going to make her a lot happier. Um, let's see, Chibi gonna get surprised? Well, we'll see. I, I, I hope I do get surprised. Uh, I'll share some of my energy with you. Just kidding. Thank you, you're my angel. I just, you know, I completely zoned out because it's got natural to me. She's kissing him. The fact that she's kissing him, by the way, I appreciate this. Just this casual kissing. This is great. This this is very, very good, the fact that this is already happening. Um, if you need some energy, I could share mine too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she's kissing him. Whoa, give energy with headbutt. Oh wait, no, she headbutted him. Oh, she's messing it up. Thank you. You're my uh, uh, god of yes, uh, Karane. Isn't that a god of war? Wait, is that a god of war? Uh, so Aijokun is already in a relationship. I see, which means he wouldn't have the time to just sit back and read books and how busy he is. That's right, who would? Oh. Is she crying? Oh, that's, that's sad. That, that's sad. That's sad. That's legit sad. Yo, what's up, uh, AK Austin? Welcome to the stream. But that's so sad, though. She's crying, man. Like, legit. Like, that's... And I, 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 you hate to see stuff like that when characters are getting sad and crying. Like, oh, man. I, I, I feel for her because clearly she wants a friend to be able to talk with. But okay. Hey, Yoshimoto-san, what's the deal with you uh, using a book to talk? Can't you speak properly? You're so weird. 
Smack. I'm, so she's getting bullied. Why can't you speak normally like the other kids? Enough, speak properly already. Who's, is that her mother or is that the teacher? It's all because you used that book to communicate that you still can't speak properly after all this time. I'm so sorry. Oh. Speak. Why are you such a creepy child? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so terrible, man. That's so terrible. That is so terrible. Oh, man. Dude, the fact that she... Oh, oh that, that... Okay, I want to keep going. That hurts, man. That hurts just looking at it. Uh, who would ever want to take the time to talk to someone so creepy? Ah, oh, perfect. You're here, Yoshimoto. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. When will you be off duty? There are no guests here today. Let's hear what you have to say. Well, today I would like to repay you for letting me borrow your book. Do you have your phone on you, Yoshimoto? There's an app I'd like you to install. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's verified to be safe. Once the app is installed, copy the manuscript data that's saved on this SD card. There, it's starting. It's a composition of Volume 1 of Circlet Love Story, an ebook. Now, just highlight a specific area and... I am Kamasil the Knight who protects the princess of this fair land. It's called a text-to-speech app, and it'll read out words that were previously typed in an electron. Oh, is he giving her a voice? Oh, my man. Oh, that's so, oh, that's so good. Oh, don't tell me. He took the time to type and copy the entire volume into the smartphone by hand. You see, until now, your method of speaking forced you and the person you're talking with to look at the book. And because of that, neither of you could hold a conversation while ma uh, maintaining eye contact. But if you use this app, you'll be able to look into each other's eyes while holding a conversation. Oh, this is so good, man. Oh, this is a good series. This is... This series is making me sad and happy. It's giving me such a wide array of emotions. This is good. This is fantastic. This is what I want from a manga. That is... The fact he went through all the effort to type the whole novel out into a phone. Imagine your fingers doing that for hours. Oh. Oh. Dude, just for she can have eye contact. That is so sweet. That's so sweet, man. Dude, he really is a great MC. Like, oh goodness, man. He is such a good MC. Look into each other's eyes while holding a normal conversation. Of course, uh, getting you to speak with your mouth would be the best option, but I'm not you. So there's no way I would ever know how difficult. Something like that is for you, Yoshimoto-san. See, he's not even judging her. Oh, I may not be able to say something like, do your best and start speaking, but if this is able to help you have an easier time communicating with others, even if only slightly, that would be great. Well, give it a try right now. Go ahead and say anything to me. I like you. Oh. 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 It's so good. It's so good, man. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Oh, my God. I, I'm getting teary-eyed from happiness. This is so good. It's so cute, man. Oh, I'm getting a little bit emotional, man. This is so good. It's so good, man. I love this stuff. Like, dude, this is just peak wholesomeness. Oh, this is going to be such a good anime. Imagine how this is going to be in the end. You know what's going to be great about this? When the anime comes out, since I also want to mention that, when this gets animated, okay? Like, imagine this scene where, like, we don't hear her voice actor at all. Like, we don't get to hear what she's saying. We just read the line. It would be really cool if it goes that far. And we have to read it. And then, this is the first thing we hear from her. This is the first time we hear her voice as the VA. I would love that. That would be so amazing. Th this would be so great. Oh, it's so sweet, dude. I love it, man. I love stories that do stuff like this, though. It's so good. 
the paneling is really good. This is a really good paneling. Like, I, I, I'm gonna have to buy this manga. I'm gonna buy this manga. Like, I legit, I, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy all the volumes I can. This is worth me buying. I, I wanna buy this. Oh, this is so good. Oh, she's crying. Oh. Oh. Cause she's probably crying happiness. Oh. I hope the director can pull it. I hope the director can too. I really hope the anime can pull this off. Because this is definitely... I would say out of all the scenes, this is probably one of the scenes that's going to hit people. This is going to be a huge scene that is going to hit people when they watch the anime. Because it's like... The first time you probably should hear her VA is this line right here. I really hope it's pulled off well. Because this could be so good. Uh... She's not fully happy, obviously, but I know she's crying because this is just the first time that she's ever probably had someone do something so nice for her in her entire life. And she, obviously, she's probably sad, too, because she knows that he's with someone, so she thinks that, you know, she has no option. It's, it's multi-layered here, but this is a very sweet moment. Um, I'm sorry, please do not worry about this. I'm not asking for a response either, for I know that you are betrothed to someone. At the very least, I wanted you to know how I feel. Yeah, I was wrong. It's not because she's my soulmate or that she'll die if we're not together. The truth is that I just... I love you. Oh! Oh! so good guys it's so good i teared up man it's so good oh it's so good I, oh, i'm such a sucker for good romance oh this is so good man he's that's giga chad energy that is such giga chad oh i can't but fate says we're not supposed to fall in love with each other then we will overcome that fate let us move forward together shizuka oh and he hugs her and so, would you guys mind accepting Yoshimoto Shizuka as my newest girlfriend? Are you delusional? <laughs> Are you delusional or something? Wow, Rintarukun, how can he? Even though he fell in love with another girl, he's not breaking up with us. Just how kind can he be? Okay, I need a case of antipsychotics for this, like, right now. <laughs> I love how we go from an emotional sad moment to a funny moment the whiplash of tone is that that's nice Th this reminds me of gintama like that is a nice whiplash that is great that is perfectly timed at the right moment to give us happiness after that very sad exchange i this is great okay uh the man the main character is a chat he really do be uh don't get me wrong it's not like i've transferred the feelings i have for you guys to shizuka how should I put this? It's not like I'm dividing up the uh, petroleum I got from one of the oil, my oil fields. Rather, meaning Shizuka-chan is like discovering a new oil field. Yeah, that's it. What in the hell is that analogy? Don't compare the feelings you have for your lovers to fossil fuels. <laughs> wow. It's just, there's nothing I could have done, no matter how much I try to explain it. And I won't say something like, just completely accept all these weird circumstances either. My feelings for you two and Shizuka's chan will never change. Or rather, I'm going to show how much I care about you guys through actions, not words, even more than ever. So from now on, if you guys feel like I'm not living up to my promise, tell me the truth, and then I'll man up and commit seppuku. What are you, a Sam? Bro, my man, don't do that. You, you, you're too wholesome. Don't, don't, don't do that, man. Uh, giving everyone, one, dude, he really do be giving everyone 100. Everyone should read it. It's it, everyone. I want to say everybody should read this. This is peak comfy wholesomeness for a rom com. This really do be peak. Uh, this uh, must be done. Anyone who would dare to hurt those that are precious to them are nothing but scum or uh, of this world. There is no value in letting them live. I've already ordered a dagger off Amazon. Bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> I get it, okay? I understand your resolve. And thus, this mysterious love circle grew even larger. Will you be okay, Rentaro? Can you really maintain this eccentric relationship when you barely have any experience in love? Or are you going to commit to it? Are you going to commit seppuku? 97 out of 100 from Maine. Bruh. Bruh. Oh. Wow, man. That was just three chapters, man. 
just three freaking chapters. And we're already like this. So since you guys are classmates, you might already know each other, but just in case, these two are Hanazono and Hakari and uh, Inda. Pleased to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. And this is Yoshimoto Shizuka. Uh, same here. It was a pleasure to meet you all. Don't expect such a uh, distinct feature. Oh, didn't expect such a distinct feature. Shizuka-chun speaks from the lines of her favorite book. For more detail about that, go back and read Chapter 3. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Don't cheat your way out of an explanation with a straight face. On top of the entire script of Volume 2 of Circuit Love Story that I gave you this morning, I've also added our classmates' names in. Go take a look. It's my humble pleasure. Rentaro-kun. Hanazono. Inda. What's with the dono-san? Is fine. Just san. Uh, she's a kachan as part of the student library staff. She loves books. And one of her charms would be her, to uh, her toes when she's reading. Wait, what? It would be her toes when she's reading. Her toes move in accordance with the flow of the scene she's reading. It's kind of like a puppy wagging its tail, or more precisely, she can't hide her feelings, and I find that really endearing. When she's happy, when she's scared, even I didn't know I did something like that, but he did. Wow, that actually says a lot about him as an MC. That actually says that he pays attention to them. I mean, it's obvious he does, but... And for him to notice that little detail shows that he really is giving it his all and paying attention to everyone in this relationship the best he can. I think that is very sweet. That says a lot about his character. Um, it's a formula that never gets old. Is it just me or am I seeing a formula? I mean, formula. You talking about like a cycle of the series? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? He keeps it real. He's very observant. He is very, very observant. This chapter is foreshadowing about chapter 37. Well, don't don't spoil that. But thank you for letting me know. Uh, I think he did mention something about Toes and that uh, Mega Pam. Did he? Did he mention it? Huh. Okay. Uh, while we're on the topic of charms, Hakari has the habit of putting her fingers in between her lips when she's thinking. She, do she did do that. She did do that in chapter 1. Holy crap. And when she's completely absorbed in it, she nibbles on her finger. It's so sexy that my heart actually skips a beat. She did do that. Huh, do I really do something so scandalous? When Akane is happy but acting all embarrassed because she got prey, she'll twirl the tips of her pigtails with her fingers. The gaps between her usual self and when she's ang uh, being all girly is unbearably cute. Twirl my hair? Me? She did do that too. Wow! The offer was hinting. Oh, that's pretty cool. I actually like that. I really like that. How much does he pay attention to me? Oh, Look at their faces. Giga Chatter, Chief, you remember the Trillion Word panel? I do remember that, yes. It's what caught my interest in wanting to read this. Uh, and that's all. Uh, that's not all. Hockerty puckers her lips up a little bit when she's kissing. Uh, and Karne gets so frantic when she kisses that she actually forgets to breathe. Those are all absolutely... Surely you do not mean that you have exchanged a smooch with one another. Smooch. A smooch is what is known as a smooch, is it not? A smooch means a smooch because that's what a smooch is. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I've let my embarrassment show. I now understand your lips have already made contact. Are you by chance interested in that kind of stuff as well, She's a I, I, I must maintain my... Chastity until marriage, for it is fate that God has casted upon us. God, my apologies. It's not Shizuka. Whether they're done it or not has nothing to do with you. I don't mind dating you at your own pace. I also would prefer to do that stuff when you're ready for it, Shizuka. Okay. Wants to do it now? Definitely wants to do it now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a meme panel. Right? Anyway, you guys can't see that. Let me, let me show you guys. That is a straight meme panel. Like, that right there could theoretically just be used as a meme. Like, that's great. That's, that's a great little panel. Uh, let me pull chat back up. Um, man, I have to leave now. Enjoy reading more of the manga, Chibi. Guess I'll have to wait for more of your thoughts in a video. Well, thank you very much for sticking around, Susie. I'm, I'm very happy I can entertain you. You have a fantastic day. Uh, welcome, Gundam. Hey, you're late, but better late than never. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Okay, so... Okay, say, uh, say, uh, I'm not Prince Shoku, uh, Koku of Gourmet World, okay? Uh, and after that, he never, uh, never mind that Rintarka. Next week, I'm talking here. It's my turn to speak. 
Get any closer, you guys are going to kiss again. <laughs> We're going to keep referencing that, aren't we? Uh, I knew it. She's holding herself back. It really is tough to get all three of them to get along uh, right away. It's a good thing I expected this to happen and came prepared. Last night I hammered a bunch of topics into my head, such as a method to get people to get along, techniques to make friends, general psychology, etc. And this is the answer I came up with. Um, this here, pure... Uh, wait, this here, pure etchy. I don't see etchy. What are you talking about? Really isn't much fan service, actually, in the series, which is kind of surprising. Um, it's a good thing. I expected this to happen. Can you prepare? Oh, yeah. Okay, so when people are being considerate, uh, considerate of others, they try and hide their true feelings away. They're terrified of being hated by others, which is why they don't force their feelings on the other person, such as anger and sorrow. Which is why, on the contrary, people can easily open their hearts up in front of others whom have already uh, seen their true feelings. Um, because they've already been seen in their most vulnerable state, they're not quite as hesitant to express how they feel and can start to relax their guard. Same goes for you. I bought some cards for us to use. Why don't we play Old Maid? But that'd be boring by itself, so let's add in a penalty game. And the method to force others into revealing their true feelings would be where first place gets to ta tickle last place. How about it? To make them laugh. Unlike anger or sorrow, laughter is a feeling that much uh, is much harder to suppress voluntarily. The key words here are touching and smiling. It's to make everyone tickle each other and laugh so everyone gets a long plan. I want to tickle me. I want to tickle him to t Oh. Oh, no, this is going to backfire. This is straight up going to backfire. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is, that's exactly what's about to happen. We're about to have a backfire here. Um, to, uh, okay, and so the game, a game of Old Maid has begun. The first round is over. First place, Rintaro. Old Maid is an overwhelming, dreadful grind of a game, and we finished without even giving it a panel. Wait, what? They already fit, what? Last place, Karane, what, me? Last place, unbelievable. Bring on your penalty game or whatever. Let's go. That's a big smile. He got yo. She said <laughs> this smug face. This smug face is great. Okay, here it comes, Granny. Uh, don't think that I'm that ticklish or anything. Do you really need to act tough here? Oh my goodness, he's just straight tickling her, bro. This is making me look like I'm doing some real questionable things here, don't you? Round two, first place, Rintaro. Last place, Hakari. Oh my loss. Please be gentle. Why are you taking your clothes? <laughs> Bruh! There is literally no shame at all in her. She has literally no shame. What the hell? That's banned. Clothes gotta stay on. Boo, here it comes, Hikari. Rotaro's huge hands. And he and his muscular fing uh, fingers all crawling over my body. Bruh. Bro, what is she? <laughs> Bro, her face. Her face is just... Wow. Wow. Please stop. Uh, I'm really sorry. I can't handle a lot of tickling, so I just... Is that so? Don't worry about it then. That was way too close. That I came to, uh, close to... Uh... What? Just now? Laughing so hard that you pee your pants. Oh, I was getting really into it and started laughing so much. Bro. Bro. Akari is thirsty. She is so freaking thirsty. It is unbelievable. <laughs> Holy crap. First place, uh, Rintaro. Uh, last place, Shizuka. It feels like there's some sort of outside force divine will that's trying to make me tickle all of you no matter what. Now then. Truth be told, I'm kind of looking forward to this. I've been wondering what Shizuka Chen's laugh would sound like. Well, here it comes, Shizuka. Aw, she laughed. You even used a line from the book to laugh. This is on a completely different level compared to what I had in mind. Alas, this is reality. But her laughing face is pretty cute. Let's keep going. She laughed aloud, she laughed aloud, she laughed aloud. Oh my goodness, she's playing that in her book. Oh, that's, that's adorable. That's, pre that's pretty good.
I guess you could say she's laughing out loud, more or less. It's uh, such intense laughter, but also quite considerate of anyone in the area. <laughs> that's adorable. Oh, that's, that is, that takes skill and that's cute. Come to think of it, Rotaro has yet to lose a match. She laughed aloud. Now that my wish to be tickled by Rotaro has been granted, in other words, I want to be the one to tickle him next. And <laughs> oh my goodness, the thirst! The thirst! The thirst begins, boys and girls! In any case, for that to happen, I have to win the next round of Old Maid. There's no way I can afford to lose this one. What's the deal with this energy output that you find in something like Kaiji? Foul, uh, round four, last place, Rintaro. Ah, oh, man, first place, Shizuka. <laughs> well, come at me, Shizuka, as you command, and now the roles are reversed. Don't you make this, uh, do, do, don't this make you look like a masochist? She laughed aloud. Bruh. She's just poking him. Oh, uh, what's this? You're the one getting embarrassed instead? How is this? How is this? How is this? But, uh, but why? Is it? It's the perfect chance to touch Kentaro's body so, since you can tickle him without holding anything back. The perfect chance where you'll be forgiven for anything, even... Oh my goodness. Is it possible that Rintaro is a tra... Uh, oh. <laughs> She's a natural little uh, uh, upward glance, a cute gesture, high-pitched for... Oh my goodness, bro. Bro. A literal insurmountable wall. She's possessing something I don't have. She's a much more formidable foe compared to that bird brain, Karne. <laughs> She's just too cute. <laughs> Bro. Am I saying Kitaro? Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, 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 it, I don't know why I'm saying Kitaro. I know why I'm saying Kitaro. I meant Rin Taro. Forgive me. It, it's a habit. I've seen too many uh, Kitaros. Forgive me about that. I meant Rin Taro. <laughs> That is enough for today. Did I get a laugh or what? Uh, let's see, huh? Might have laughed a bit too much. Ah, uh, sorry, but need to stop by the bathroom. Did he really... Oh my god, she's saying Liz. Nope. Just a second, Yoshimoto. What's your deal? Oh? We having some conflict? Uh-oh. We having some conflict? Absolutely no heroine gets left behind. Look at what we have here. Just a second, Yoshimoto, what's your deal? You're holding back because of us, ain't ya? That is, you think I can't tell you're the only one who didn't try to approach Rintaro uh, all day. I know you want to uh, touch him more with all that tickling, but you just poked him. Why aren't you even trying, huh? Maybe it's because you come on too strong, Karane. You do tend to raise your voice out of nowhere, like what you're doing right now. Chapter 5, and we get reference to Charlie's Angel. Wait, really? Holy crap. Um, all according to his plan. Right, you just call him Chad Taro. I mean, I really should just call him Chad Taro. That, that's literally what I should call him. Uh, why aren't you even trying? Because you're doing it right now. Say what you tell me, when have I ever raised my voice, huh? Ignorance really is bliss. <laughs> both, uh, both of you have uh, been longtime lovers of Ren Taro-kun. I do not wish to interfere, for I am but someone who only just joined. Huh, I figured that'd be the case. But you're his girlfriend now. You're not just some girl that Rintaro's cheating on with us, so you got uh, don't gotta hold yourself back. All I see is someone who's full of doubt and is saying a word of what she really wants, and it's uh, pissing me off. Are you really in any position to say that? You're the least honest about your feelings. Shut up. You have been trying to pick a fight with me for some time, you know. You, you are right. My apologies. For real, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Who would have got? Uh, who wouldn't get mad when someone says that to their face? Throw some shade, talk some smack, ain't you okay? A anything, okay? You, you'd you get mad even if she did talk back, though. Okay, you got some nerve. Uh, you really want to see me angry? Aren't you already angry? If that is the case, then allow me to speak the truth. The truth is, I am absolutely terrified. Huh? Huh? Am I really that scary? <laughs> Bro! Bro! What? I'm surprised you're so concerned about that. It was not what it seemed. What I meant by that was... Hanazono is delightfully well-mannered and someone of uh, explanatory conduct. And on top of all that, someone with a captivating feminine figure. 
Uh, Enda is a beauty with eye-catching features and above all else, someone with a commanding demeanor. Because you are both such wonderful women, nothing terrifies me more than the thought of being compared to you two by Rintaro-kun, if I were to behave in the same manner. What's with this? She She's just the sweetest little... Oh, <laughs> she's just the sweetest little thing. I am but plain loathsome and have a... Oh, she's putting herself down. Compared to the two of you, the difference could not be clear. Don't do uh, go thinking that. You're you're not cute. You're petite, well-behaved, and got the girly cuteness. That's what I think. All that means I said. Oh. 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 This development between the female characters. Th this is wholesome, too. Like, th this this needs to be a thing. Like, the, the more harems should do this. Th this development between the characters is sweet. So, uh, let's see. Sorry about that. All of, wait, okay. Uh, sorry about that. All the mean things I said. She's right. Please don't let it bother you. Akane is always throwing a fit, after all. What? Again, okay, uh, and Rintaro is someone who loves all of us more than we could ever imagine. There's really nothing to worry about. I'm sure he could list off 10 or 20 wonderful things about you. And the son, Hanazono-san. Anyway, what I want to say is don't hold yourself back for us. That's all. If you got anything you want to say or do to him, then let him know what you really want. And go ahead and call us by our first names. Shizuka-san, we are all fellow girlfriends here. Right, Karne? <laughs> well, yeah. You're okay with that too, right, Shizuka? Yes. Aww. Guys. <sighs> I'm having a fun time reading this. Is everybody else? Let's do a chat check. How are you all enjoying the stream and enjoying reading the series together? Like, can we all agree that this is not one of the most blessed, like, reads, like, in a while? Like, this is legit. It's just super blessed. I love this manga. Like, I, I, I'm glad to see it. Chat, yeah, I, I'm glad you all agree. Like, this is legit, just... I love this, man. Like, it, it's giving me all sorts of feels. Uh, more manga streams. I, I, I definitely will do more manga streams. I love this stuff, dude. It, it's just, I, I, I love being able to express myself and talk about this. It's so endearing. Oh... Uh, yeah, I see. You did tell me it was. I agree. I, this is a really good manga. I I keep saying it, but it's just blowing me away, man. It's really blowing me away just how good this has been. Seeing you read this for the first time. I mean, I'm, gl I'm glad you're uh, watching this even though you've already read it. I, I gotta tell you, this is this series is blowing me away with each like chapter and panel. I, I really am enjoying this. Um... Yeah, I'm playing this one a little bit risky about the copyright stuff, but I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment. You know, that's what I wanted to do with this one, just to kind of share this. If something does happen, obviously, I'll have to mix it up in the future, but uh, I have really enjoyed this stream. This has been really fun. Um, thank you very much, Shiro, for the $5 donation. Yes, yeah, so please re uh, reach at least Chapter 20 for today's live. I want to see your reaction for that priceless arc. Um, I want to get to 20 ch uh, chapters today. That is the objective. I don't know how long that's going to be. I've been streaming for two hours and a half now. Who knows? Maybe... This will be my longest stream. I think the longest stream I've ever had, I've ever streamed, is like a three hour 30. So we might beat my stream record today. <laughs> we might actually beat my longest record of streaming today, depending on how this goes. But, uh, just, yeah, I, I, I'm very happy to share this all with you guys. I'm just taking a brief little intermission. Just thank you, everyone, that's been watching this video with me and all that. I've really enjoyed reading this with you guys, getting to see your guys' reactions and chat. It's so fun. I, I really appreciate all of you guys. But okay, let's uh, let's continue reading. So yeah, uh, let's see. I can't believe that ended in the best way possible. Also, he's peeking and watching him. Uh, how is this? How is this? <laughs> She's staring daggers at Shizuka. This is bad. I don't know why, but I better diffuse the tension here so she doesn't get angry at Shizuka. No, that's not what I should do. Think back, why did I get them to play Old Maid in the first place? Doubt, anxiety, and even fear. If I keep allowing them to hide their true feelings away, they'll never get close. So he backed out to allow that confrontation. My man. Rentaro, dude, is a good MC. Like, 
Dude, why can't more characters be like him? Like, oh, like, why can't more of them be like Rintaro? Like, this man really is just so aware of the situation. I like how it stays consistent. He really does stay very consistent as a character so far. Uh, if I want them to be brave here, then I'm the one who has to be brave first. Believe in them. But is Kane really that kind of person? Quit being so cheeky, you joined us after all. Huh, I might have laughed a bit too much. Uh, sorry, but I need to stop by the bathroom. So she wasn't being selfish after all. It was all for Shizuka-chan's sake. For Hakari made sure to keep an eye on the situation so that Shizuka-chan wouldn't take the uh, blunt or brunt of all that anger. After hearing how Akane feels, Shizuka mustered up the courage to reveal her true feelings. Amazing. I'm so unworthy of these absolutely incredible girlfriends. Thanks for uh, waiting. Let's keep going. Nope, we're going to redo the last penalty game instead. How? Huh, why? Why? Because that po uh, poking barely counted as tickling. That's why. Shizuka, you're going to tickle Rintaro again. That's right. Well, you do want to tickle him once more, right, Shizuka? They did this all for my sake. I have to make sure this kindness they've shown me doesn't go to waste. Oh, well, it's so nice that they're so supportive. It's not toxic. It, they're being supportive of each other. Oh, it's so blessed. Don't hold yourself back. If you ever got something you want to do, then let him know what you really want. What I really want, what I really want. I would like to do it. I would like to lock lips. Huh? Ha! Huh? Uh! Yo! Okay, wait, we got a donation. Um, okay, so we have a $7 donation. Thank you very much, uh, Red Red. Uh, gifting so that you can eventually buy a Chad Taro body pillow. Dude, I would 100% buy. I would 100% buy a Rin Taro body pillow, man. This man deserves it, dude. Like, straight up, great character. Straight great character. I, I No shame. I would legit buy a body pillow of him. I'm, I'm not joking. I would. I would even have it in my video. I'd put it in one of my videos. I would show it to the side of me. I am not joking. Oh, yeah. I must maintain my chastity until marriage, for it is the fate that God has cast upon us, was what she said. But the truth is, I have deceived you. Right? It's fine. I understand. My true wish is for us to lock lips. Thank you. I am so happy to hear that. Her face... Oh, the little blushing. Oh, oh God, you gotta see this. Let me move the mommy. I got, I gotta move best girl. One sec. So look real quick here. Yeah, look at her how she hold, it covers her face with her phone. Oh, it's so cute. She's just like, dude. It's like this, dude. She's just like, oh, oh, I love it. I love it, dude. Oh, that's so sweet. The character expressions, just too sweet, too adorable, man. Can't get enough of it. Oh. Okay, so she's going for a kiss. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> he patted her. <laughs> he patted her. He straight patted her. Oh, my goodness. Just like, and pat. Oh, I couldn't help it. You were just too cute. Oh. Oh. She's a kachan. There, can you hear me? Oh, wow. They're just watching. They're just watching. They're just straight watching. Karane san, now that Shizuka has put her true intentions out in the open, don't you think it'd be a good idea to show him yours too? Huh? What do you mean? I ain't hiding my true intentions or anything. Oh, is that so? I'm gonna tell him mine though. Rintaro kun, I'd like to kiss you as well. Sure. Are you alright with this? It's just, I'm not as cute as Shizuka, don't you think? As if I'd ever, that would ever be the case. You, Shizuka chan, Ikarne, as well, all of you are the cutest girls in the world. Hakari, I had a feeling you would say that, and you did. Hakari, aww. Oh, another kiss? My man getting the Giga Chad kisses, dude, back to back. The next would be, hmm, if you really insist, it's not like I wouldn't do this with you. Oh, classic Sundere. It's classic Sundere. I ain't interested, though, but you're already standing by for a kiss. Oh, he hugs her. He's so adorable. The heck are you doing all of a sudden? That embarrassment look on your face is just the cutest thing. I mean, it really do be the cutest thing. I love her embarrassed face. It is probably the best thing. Like, legit. I love it so much. Like, a lot, a lot of kisses, dude. I do agree, chat. He is kissing a lot. You idiot, you idiot. Uh, I'm sorry, Al. Oh, that hurts, that hurts. You really hit me hard. I want to share a kiss with you no matter what. 
What about you? I feel the same. Oh. Oh my goodness, their faces. Like, they're all blushing and happy. Is something wrong, Redarm? Oh, I was just wondering if I really deserve this happiness. You guys from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. That should be our line. You guys really know how to jam pack your endings. You got that, don't you think? Indeed. <sighs> Man. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, is this a bonus chapter? Don't do it. That's the one word you can't say. There's seven, three minutes. Don't give up hope. Wait, is this, this is just a bonus chapter. What in the world is going on? Okay, so say you're Tarl. You said you were your first girlfriends and that you're well, you were f your first girlfriends and that you've experienced a hundred rejections until now. What exactly was your first crush? Uh ah, oh, we're talking about Rintaro here, cause he'll say during kindergarten or something with a straight face, for he is true. He is a true warrior filled with love. It'd be when I was eight months old. Oh my goodness, are we actually getting it? Are we actually getting it? We're getting the, we're getting the backstory of this. Okay, so how did this go? Let, let, let me take an educated guess. Who who could he have said at eight months? I really don't know. I really don't know. I, I really have no idea. Okay, let's see. That makes you a berserker. The heck, huh? That just makes you a monster. <laughs> I was told the same thing in the first chapter. Can you really say you have romantic feelings? Of course, and they were sincere, too. I, I can't even speak. Rintaro, zero years old. He starts crying. There, dearie. Like her? Atan, Rintaro, like you. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, bro. And ever since that day, I had my heart broken over and over again. Oh! <laughs> so I made the effort to improve myself, read tons of books of love. But despite all my hard work, my love never blossomed. Nobody loved me, nor did they need me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't need you. You're not the one, they said. Felt as if my entire existence has been denied. Yeah, if this is how it's going to be, then it would have been better if I just never had these feelings that make me fall in love with others, or a heart that was begging to be loved. That was what I had thought. Rintaro. rintaro -kun. Whoa, what the? Why are you crying, Rintaro? I'm sorry, that must have brought some painful memories. Please, feel free to cry into my chest. I'll take my clothes off. <laughs> oh, yes. Let me uh, stroke you now. Lower your head. I'll hold your hand, but it's only because I want to get your hand dirty with my fingerprints. Thank you, guys. I love all of you. That should be our line. You got that, don't you think? You're using the same joke as the main story. Oh, that's that's sweet. That's sweet. <sighs> the fact they comforted him too, and they're aware of it now. That's nice. That's a nice little detail. Basically showing that they are aware of all the stuff that's happened to him. Oh man, man, I like this series. Uh, Ch uh, Chat Taro had his character moment since eight months old. He really did, man. He really did. He only has three right now. Okay, it is the announcement of the trial's results. Hurry up already, Rintaro. Sorry, I forgot my phone at my desk. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. It's fine. You don't need your phone for this, right? But it's packed with photos and memories of us. That's a treasure more valuable than life itself. No heroines will be left behind. Okay. Um, the test results got posted, you know. Aren't you gonna look? insignificant checking it would simply be a waste of the white haired character like the white haired character girl oh we're getting her i i said when we saw the color page of her i liked her i'm gonna say i like her i i, I can't wait to see i i can't wait to see what type of character this is i'm assuming she's a kudere like an ice princess that, that, that's what i'm assuming she is i'll get first place no matter what oh electrical shock here we go I, I feel that familiar shock again when we made eye contact. It's the soulmate shock. Um, if you don't mind, how about we go see the test results together? Once again, it is a waste of time. Huh? Uh, sorry. She's an AI. <laughs> she kind of acts like it, doesn't she? I, I rank 25 out of 240. The 44th assassin. I am 87th, just one place above you. You guys did great. 88th. Oh my goodness. 
So she's first. Okay, so Nano is her name. Wait, what? Uh, what that means? She got a perfect score in every subject. Say, do you guys uh, know Aya-san, the one with the first place score? She's our classmate, right? She often shows her endeavors by studying next to the window. Huh, I've never talked to her, but there's a rumor going around that she's actually an AI or something. Huh? Wait. Wait. Wait, is she an... Wait. No, she's not an AI. Well, there is... There is Supernatural... It's pronounced AI. Oh, it, oh, AI got the joke. AI, I got it. I, I see the joke now. I see why you guys are saying AI. Because her name literally is AI. That's funny. That's that's funny wordplay. I like that. Uh, that, uh, that she actually an AI or something. You make it sound like an urban legend. We'll be observing and sketching an onion's uh, epidermal cells. So it's me and AI-san. Each uh, table will get their own microscope and razor. Uh, unlike Hakuri, uh, Kane, or Shizuka, where their cuteness is beyond imagination, AI gives off these vibes, it just screams beauty. Okay, I bought, uh, brought the microscope, uh, AI, it's an experiment, so you don't need your textbook. You're just gonna copy it from the textbook. This is more efficient than seeing it through a microscope. That's not really the point. <laughs> wouldn't you, wouldn't that defeat the purpose of the experiment? These experiments are insignificant. Replicating the answers our predecessors already figured out would be a waste of time. You're basically saying this class is a giant waste of time. I mean, in a way, I could see her point. I, I, I could see her point on that. I, there, there's, there's layers to that, but I could see why she's saying that. I, I can. That makes sense. Uh, come on, the teacher's watching. Do it right. I'll act, uh, I'll act like I am then. Just do it right. What are you trying to look at? You didn't put the uh, onion inside it. Seriously, stop looking at your textbook. <laughs> Textbooks are clearly more efficient. Incomprehensible. So this is the uh, rumored AI. She sure has an over overly rational mind just like an AI. Now I can see why that so-called urban legend takes precedent over her beauty. Now she should go to the infirmary and get this taken care of. I have a more efficient way, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay. We just know you. You just get right in for it. Okay. What the? What are you? Uh, sal uh, saliva has antibacterial properties. An injury of this level does not require disinfectant. <laughs> what? Bro, what? Long eyelashes, her skin is so light, it's like you could see right through it. And someone as pretty as her has my finger in her mouth. She's not just moving her lips, she's licking me too. So soft, am I dreaming? Bro, my man. Huh, like I care about seeing some cells. What are you trying to compete uh, with this time? Such heavy sins you must be burdened with. Uh, thank you very much, AI. It's nothing. I only did it because cleaning up the lab equipment with one less person would have been less efficient. Don't you think you're taking this whole efficiency thing a bit too seriously? But I do want to thank you. You must be thirsty, right? How about some juice? I'm not thirsty, and rehydration for juice is inefficient. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Even little luxuries need to be efficient. But I would like to talk with you a bit more about AI. Uh, uh, more AI. That is, if you don't mind. I don't mind, but it's insignificant you really know how to bring a person down <laughs> okay guys i want to ask chat chat who's best girl who is best girl chat like who is best girl in your opinion everybody list your best girl i want to see uh, is it uh shizuka kanade is it uh you know hakuri you know is it uh, ai everybody tell me who is best girl i, I want to hear it in chat right now i, I am very curious what everybody says Okay, we got a lot of everyone. All of them. Wow, there is a lot of just all of them. Well, well, well. I am pretty surprised about that. Okay, you guys, man. That is not something I expected. I mean, yeah, they're all great characters. I figured someone had already picked favorites. I'm proud of you guys. I'm, I'm legit proud. That is that Rentaro Giga Chad energy. I, I think that is something to be proud of. 
Okay, uh, mo I, I saw that mommy in chat. I, uh, yes, you are correct. You know, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, if we're going to talk about mommy, one second. Best girl right here, right? If we, can we all agree? She she deserves all the spotlight. She, she needs to be in this series. <laughs> I'm just joking, though. Uh, but um, anyways, um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, be uh, best one yet to appear. So you think AI is the best one to appear? Uh, mommy Chan, I love you. Uh, let's see. You have a favorite, but you will agree they are all, they're all best girls. Okay, how do you bring a person down? No spending time having a fun conversation should be insignificant. Come on, it's the same as spending time enjoying your hobby or traveling. I have no experience at spending time that way. Huh? But I know that spending time on such things is insignificant. You can spend as much time as you want on fun, but it won't help your test scores. Nor will it be linked to any evaluations. There is nothing to be gained from fun. Ooh. She's a stick in the mud. Uh, that's crazy. You know that test scores and evaluations aren't everything, right? Anything in this world that doesn't benefit your own future holds no significance. Mm, is that true? Is that true advice? Huh. Chad, what do you think? Do you, do you think that is... Do you, do you agree with that logic? Anything that doesn't benefit your own future holds no significance? Do you, do you think that AI here is correct in that? Or do you think that there is something else? Let her cook. People are saying no and yes. I think there's a layer to it of saying she's correct in some areas but not. I do think that, you know, sometimes things that maybe not benefit your own future. Like, I guess gaming. I guess that is... I guess gaming is a good example. Let's say you sit down and you play a video game, like any form of game. Obviously, there's other things you could be doing, but does playing that game benefit you, your your future self? Not really, but it does bring you momentary happiness, and I think that's what really matters. I guess, yes, you should be able to look towards the future and look towards your future and want to make your future good. But you also shouldn't throw away the current present and make yourself miserable just for a future that is so uncertain. So, I agree and disagree with her analogy. You could say it's insignificant, but meaningless, no, it's not. Some people would absolutely agree with AI, but I don't. I mean, I, I think she's right in some areas, but I think in others, she, she's a little bit too stern on things, and she's not living in the moment sometimes. Yeah, I do think her thinking is a little bit too extreme. That's not true. Fun holds significance in its own way. Significance equates to value, and things only have value when they are useful, like money, tools, and knowledge. That That's seriously, you can't just slap some words and definitions on this. Anything that can't be explained with words is riddled in deceit. This argument is also a waste of time. Farewell. Hmm. Is AI really my soulmate? That's interesting. She is a very different character. Oh, I just recently started reading this after your video that the anime is coming out, so it's good. Well, Shadow, I'm glad to see you here. I'm reading it, too. I'm on Chapter 6. She's a very different character, though. I'm really interested in this character. It, it, it's kind of... Yeah, it is a little bit of a rejection, though. It, it is, doesn't it, chat? It kind of is. Uh, okay, so um, thank you very much, AI. Oh? Oh, she's thinking of him. Ah... Uh... Why did I do that? Me wanting to be useful to Aijo Rintaro. Me wanting to be loved by Aijo Rintaro. How could I have forgotten the downsides of applying saliva to wounds? And it all also depends on the bacteria. What is this feeling exactly? Incomprehensible. Losing focus is a waste of time. PI equals... Oh my goodness, I'm not saying all that. Uh, phew, that is certainly the most efficient way to regain focus. As expected of PI. Or PI. Oh my goodness. I am wasting a considerable amount of time right now. If this is how it's going to be, it would seem that I have fallen for you, Aichi Rintaro. I would like you to go out with me. <laughs> wow. 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 So she wants to go out with him because she just couldn't get her mind straight and focus on her task. That's kind of funny. That, that's legit kind of funny. That is really, really funny. <laughs> you know, I, I saw someone in chat say it. She's breaking down. It's literally, it's literally an AI breaking down. 
She's literally breaking down. Oh my goodness, that's funny. That is actually funny. I like you too, AI son. Uh, thank you. It's an honor and I look forward to it. I'm sorry, what kind of sick joke is this? The truth is, being rejected here would be most ideal and efficient outcome. But if that were to fail, the only option left would be to reject you instead. What are you saying? I came here today to end this love. Ooh. Got someone at my door, guys. Give me one second. I will be right back, okay? One sec. Ah, uh, I am back. Hey, Koska, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. I know. I know. I know. Mm. I love you. Mwah. Okay. Ah. Uh. Uh, I am alive, boys. Don't uh, boys and girls. I'm alive. I did not die, so don't worry. He returned by death. Um, I don't know if I'm reading everything. Oh, if you're wondering what that was, um, my neighbor came by and was like, "Hey, we got uh, some people that's going to be surveying some land, and we're going to be putting up a fence and all that." As like, we're just making sure you know if you hear anything or whatever, not to freak out. So yeah, that was just basically my neighbor telling me like, "Hey, you know." gonna be making a fence so that that's what happened nothing serious just about that but uh yeah um bro was uh beefing with truck <laughs> yes yes you okay Casca? it's okay honey it's okay you're okay you're okay she, she's a little bit upset right now she got woke up out of her slumber someone knocking on the door in all seriousness my favorites are she's a uh, karumi and Casca, you're okay. They're gone. Come here. Come here. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, yes, classic fence. Oh, okay, yeah. One sec. Let me deal with her, guys. I'm sorry. I gotta deal with her. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. here let, me give you, let me give you your stuff. Here. I'll give you your toy. Here you go. Here you go. Yes, you're good. You're good. I know you're fine. You're fine, honey. There you go. Get in the bed. Okay. Uh, okay. So, sorry about that. Casca's just getting a little, a little feisty. I had to give her treats and stuff and calm her down. Okay. Let's continue reading. Apologies, everyone. Apologies. I did not mean for that to happen. Uh, I thought you got a sec eyed. Uh, what's going on? Are you a big fan of a harem manga anime? I. Eh, debatable. Like, I mean, I like some, but uh, it depends. Uh, not every series is like this one. 
Um, it's I yeah. I, once again, apologies. Things happen. I came here today to end this love. Why are you putting it on purpose? We know we like each other. The only things that can be obtained from love and marriage and children, and right now I have no desire for either. It is easy to understand once you think it over. Love between students is insignificant, a mere waste of time. There is no way I will ever go out with you. Unfortunately, unlike you, ai son, I have been rejected 100 times before. You think that level of heartbreak is going to make me give up my love for you? Not a chance. Bro, Giga Chad energy right there. Giga Chad. This is a very different situation. Very different because obviously if he gives up, she will die. That's exactly what will happen. She will straight up die. So he can't technically give this up. Her life is literally on the line. Rejected her rejection. Yeah, he legit rejected that rejection. You think that level of heartbreak is going to make me give up my love for you? Not a chance. Love is not about insignificance, uh, but willpower. I see. That does not concern. Uh, I know you want to end this love once and for all, AI son. But the idea of receiving a constant stream of love from me just spells inconvenience for you, right? Uh, I, Joe Rintaro, likes me. <laughs> oh my goodness, now she's breaking down as an AI with the numbers. So in order for me to put my foot down and lay this love to rest as well, even if I don't think that's possible for me to do, but anyway, can we at least take one day to go on a date? That is, I know it might be insignificant for you, but for me, that one day is crucial. Just one day, if you're willing to go out with me for one day, then I promise I'll give up on you once and for all. A few days later. Now that I think about it, it's this is my first date ever. Thank you for waiting. AI, oh my goodness, she's cute. That's a cute outfit. That's a legit cute outfit. Look at that. Oh, that is such a sweet outfit. Um, AI, oh yeah, she does get the first date, huh? This is literally his first actual date. That is crazy. But trust me, you will love Rintaro more than the harem itself. No, I, I really like him as a character. The, no, no, no joke. But he's great. Um, I have to go. I can watch the rest later. Not live. It gets in the chat. Yes. Uh, so just to kind of explain, um, Ka uh, Kazu, um, basically when I'm done with the stream, just go to the main channel homepage, you know, achieve your reviews. And then next to the video tab, just click live tab. And this video will be there. It'll be fully uploaded for you to watch. So do not worry. You'll be able to see it you know, later on once I'm done. So, do not worry. I will not delete it, etc. Unless it obviously gets copyrighted, striked, and yeah, nothing I can do about that one. But, you know, if it's there and everything's fine, it'll be in the live tab. So, yeah. But you have a wonderful day. Uh, what do you think is better, Rintaro or Kazuya? <laughs> okay. Siri, being for real, being for real, no memes, etc. I'm liking, uh, like, Rintaro a lot more. He's a great character. He legit is a very good character. However, I don't think Kazi is as bad as people say. I just think he's very flawed and a bad person. But I think that because he's flawed, it makes him an interesting character. But I personally, at the moment, I prefer Rintaro. That's just how I feel. But okay, anyways. AI, are you sick? Shall we go home? We're not leaving yet. Can uh, can you not be so obsessed with max efficiency? <laughs> Oh my goodness. My mission for today is to get AI son to have some fun. I need to get it through her head that having a pleasant time with someone you like as well as love itself are both significant. Why is there a horseback riding training machine in an amusement park? It's not really meant for that. Then of what significance does doing this hold? How odd. An instant camera. Oh, you know the, uh, what this is. I've loved this kind of thing ever since I was young. It's a worthless camera if you lose the photo. You lose all records of it because it doesn't save any negatives of or data. Incomprehensible. Some real harsh criticism you got there. Man, she coming with the cold, harsh facts right now. But, uh, holy crap. Um, she is a really good character right now. Uh, one second, I'm pulling my chat up. I couldn't see you guys talking. Uh, what chapter? We are currently on chapter 7 of, you know, the series. You know, 100 Girlfriends That Really, Really Like You. Okay, some real harsh criticism you got there. Anyway, say cheese. Cheese, what does cheese have to do with anything? Ghosts and monsters are scientific beings. They, do, they don't exist. I'm sure they'd be really upset to hear you say that they 
that you know if they did exist. Look carefully, that's uh, that's a uh, living human being. Humans, they're all humans. Oh my goodness, jeez. <laughs> what are you getting so worked up about? They're all humans. Who wouldn't get goosebumps in a situation like this, even if they are humans? In the end, we're only, uh, we're only humans inside. They should take the haunted part out. Wouldn't that just make it a regular house, then? It's your first time riding this, too, right? What do you think? It's sanity. You just can't stop subverting expectations. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm loving this character. Okay, I'm liking her deadpan, stern attitude. I, I I do enjoy, I do enjoy this character right now. This character is good. Um, involuntary smile. Uh, has she smiled? No, oh, she hasn't really smiled. There's really no smile yet. She's, uh, but like I'll tell you what. Yeah, I I don't think she has an involuntary smile. Okay, I can't see the uh, f uh, philosophy behind creating the things with the uh, intention of satisfying one's desires. By putting people inside giant cups and spinning them around, not only that, people straight up believe that being spun around by this is fun. No questions asked. It's as if this is a contraption that brainwashes people by spinning them around and playing music. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a story. Guys, I want to share you. I'm going to share something with you in chat. You ready for this? So when I was like nine years old, and I'm still in Florida, uh, I went to Disney World, and I forget which part of Disney World it was, but um, basically there was this ride that was it's a small world after all. Like I, I forget the exact ride name, but they would blare that song, and you were on this little float going down this water. Like, just, you know, uh, floating in the water and all that. And you had these puppets and stuff just dancing around in this ride. And it's literally the song from Shrek. If anyone's obviously watched Shrek, and it's very popular, it's that song that plays with those little puppets, a small world after all or whatever. Basically, they were all singing that. And our ride broke down, like, towards the end of it. And I was stuck listening to that song for, like, a full hour. I, I was literally forced to listen to that whole song for a full hour because we were stuck in there and it drove me insane it was it was hell it, it, i never ever want to hear that song ever again because that straight up is basically ptsd to me it is so bad i i oh man i will never get on that ride ever again if i ever go to Disney World ever again. I would never. It was torture. It was bad. I was literally trapped in there as a nine-year-old for a 10, or not 10 hours, for, for one hour just listening to it. It was just, oh, that song was, mm -mm, no, never again, never again. Okay, anyway, l l let's get back on topic. Uh, let's see, spinning around. Okay, not only the people should believe in um, playing music around, what kind of nightmare tea party are you talking about? Okay, the Lost Lambs Grand Maze. They got a huge maze here. Let's go give it a try. Uh, confirming the route with an overhead view is more efficient. But that's the whole point of it being huge. Darn, another dead end. Why is there a dead end here? They should have just made it with only the correct path. What a waste of time! I would have said, Puka, yo, it's a small world, not a great ride, no one likes it. I mean, I was nine years old, man, and it was bad, okay? That's all I'm saying. I hated that ride so much, because I was stuck in there for an hour. I vividly remember it. Oh my goodness, it was bad. It was so bad. Anyways, they should have just made it with only cracked path, but that's the whole point of the maze. I want to head to bed now. I wish I could still watch. Well, Sisto, you have a very good rest. Get some good rest and sleep well. Um, if humans were equipped with fully automated functions sooner, then we'd be able to get through this maze without a thought in life in general. But that's the whole point of a human being a human. You can't go on a date and not ride the Ferris wheel. Oh my goodness, what's going on in her face? Why is she acting like that? AI son, are you afraid of heights? It is a natural biological function to fear heights when it threatens your life. Then mind if I sit next to you? Sorry. She's grabbing his hand. Oh, that's cute. Okay, we got some cute stuff going on with her. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're hand-holding! Bro, it's happening! 
happening? It's y'all. Thank you very much for coming today. The park will close in 30 minutes. Be sure to take the chance to ride any attractions you forgot. Look, you uh, looked kind of bored here, but you seem to be having fun here. Correct. You can tell. People often tell me that I don't have to, don't seem to have any emotions. It's pretty obvious once you take a closer look. I'm really glad though. It looks like you had some fun today. So how was it? Yes, I had a lot of fun. More than I ever could have imagined. Really? Then that means, but that was it. I only had fun. I gained nothing. It was an insignificant day. Yikes. My apologies. It's fine. No need to apologize. It's normal for people to have different feelings towards something after all. I'm just happy that you showed me how you truly feel and didn't try to deceive me. Well then, I guess that's how the cookie crumbles today. Sure has been insignificant, so let's pretend that this worthless day never happened. Huh? Wait. Is he gonna... It's a worthless camera. If you lose the photo, you lose all records of it because it doesn't save any negative data. It's not possible to lose something you don't possess, but you were terrified of losing something just now, AI. That's the best proof that you possess something now, wouldn't you say? AI, you have gained something today. It's something that can't be expressed through words, nor will it ever have an impact on your test scores or evaluations. And while that may not be of any use to you, what you've obtained is something so valuable that even your heart is telling you that you don't want to lose it. Bro... What is this? Why am I... She's crying. I'm sorry, I didn't want to have to do this. But I really wanted to get this through your head no matter what. Bro. There is significance in having a good time. And nothing is more significant than spending the time we have on this earth having fun. Feeling better? Yes. My apologies. Your handkerchief will be returned once I thoroughly disinfect it. Uh, are you going to lick it? So, uh, saliva has antibacterial uh, properties. No, I'm going to wash it. I, Joan and Taro, I have fallen for you. I would like you to go out with me. Another one. Another one. Everyone, can we get a W in chat? Can we get a straight W in chat for this massive win right now? Like, come on. Can we not get that big W? Like, seriously, this is a huge win for AI, for Rentaro. Like, yeah, this is, this is beautiful. This is absolutely a great moment. Ah, oh, what a win. What a freaking win. Oh, my. It would seem that I have much to gain from being in love with you. I would like to spend much more in, uh, significant time with you. I like how she's saying s significant now. That I still have yet to discover. I, I like you too, AI. Thank you. It's an honor and I look forward to it. Ho! Oh! Yo! She went for it! What?! She just string go. Yeah, she went for it. What? Oh my goodness! She just straight grab, dude. He goes to grab her hand, and she just pulls him. Like pulls. Yo. Oh my goodness! That is a win. Putting things you want to do into action without being constrained by one's conduct is much more efficient. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, efficient. Efficient. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you hate it? Of course not. Yo, efficiency be it, dude. Okay. That is great. Efficiently kissed him, dude. Just grabs him and kisses him. Wow. That is... 
man, I, I like how all of them have different personalities, dude. That's what makes this so good. Like, seriously. Holy crap. Uh, H-E-B, you should catch up on Don Machi. I know, I know the final episode came out recently. I know I should. How can one man be so based? Seriously, how can he be so based is a really good freaking question. Because legit, this is... Keeps surprising me. And so, due to how things panned out, the efficiency loving girlfriend. Would you guys mind accepting AI as my newest girlfriend? <laughs> Dude! Oh, you guys can't see it. One sec, let me move her. Let me move uh, Mommy Chan. She needs to be moved a little bit for you can see her. Dude, look at the reaction of the girls right here and how they're reacting to the news of AI being added. I like how you see the annoyance, you see the just the heart eyes, like, all, and then you just see the one that's just, like, a, a, a aloof and just, like, feeling all comfy and cutesy. Oh my goodness, a perfect, like, reaction face to all of them. That That is absolutely perfect reaction. Um, okay, so Chibi, you should check the, uh, the We Never Learn manga. It has multiple route endings for each girl. Oh, really? I'll have to check it out then. Remind me later about that. I can't get tired of this, dude. It's great. Okay, so just do, um, this ain't our first rodeo, so don't think you can surprise me anymore. Just do whatever you want, okay? As long as you don't break up with me, I can think of no greater happy. <laughs> as a fellow warrior who joined in late myself, I have no objections. Oh my goodness. Uh, what is this manga? I have a hard time to, uh, complete, wait. What is this manga I have, have had a hard time to complete the Pokédex? I mean, this is a 100 girlfriends that really, really love you. Thank you. If I can't make you all happy, I swear I'll commit seppuku. People don't die from seppuku that quickly. Ingesting poison would be more efficient. Bro. <laughs> What's with you and quick and easy deaths? Oh, we got the fan service cover. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. But never mind that, I want to talk about the amusement park date. Do you uh, know how much I've always wanted to do that? Uh, let's see, people don't die when they are dead. <laughs> that, that, that literally is that scene. Uh, and my schedule is pretty open these days, if you ask me. I might have gone with you. A lover's banquet. It is a Shangri-La that even I have dreamed about. I want to go. We should go. I want to go. <laughs> For real, you just went there yesterday. Th that was before we started dating. We haven't gone as lovers. Bro, she is just all for it. Bro, what? Okay, then, why don't we all go somewhere on our next day off? Where should we go? Karaoke, the movie theater, the amusement park? All according to plan. And that case, might I suggest this place. A grand pool open all year long. Oh, we're getting the pool. We're getting the pool chapter. That's, that's what we're getting, boys. We're getting the pool chapter, boys and girls. Here we go. Okay, after school, uh, Hockerty suggesting we should go to an indoor pool out of the blue. I don't have any swimsuits good enough for dates. I've uh, never gone to a pool with a guy before until now, and cute swimsuits don't suit me in the first place. And I ain't, uh, ain't thinking about cute swimsuits or anything Got that. My apologies. Seriously, something as cute as this doesn't suit me at all, but since it's Rintaro, maybe he'll compliment me. It may be because this place just opened recently, but there sure uh, there sure are a lot of people here. Day of the date. Thank you for waiting, Rintaro Kun. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so we got the full fan service going on. I got you. Uh, AI's best. That's all I'm gonna say. My life has no regrets. <laughs> this is from We Never Learn. Uh, wait, what are we talking about? Uh, a pool chat, better pool chapter than Rent uh, Girlfriend. Oh yes. Uh, the mole. I don't know what you guys talk about. Yeah, so my life has no regrets. Rid Tarokun, apologies. For she believed that all students would be doing this attire, and now I have brought disgrace upon us all. You're wrong, Shizuka chan. Having the modesty to wear a school swimsuit to a public pool as a high school student is exactly what makes your precious and this worse uh, worthy of being a national treasure. Such pure tears. Huh, where is Kane? Uh, these are, uh, ah, uh, there you are. What are you doing? Did you come here in the middle of changing? Don't do that. Go back, hurry. It'd kill me if people saw you in your birthday suit. <laughs> it ain't like that, Kay. I'm just feeling a bit chilly, that's all. The four of you can go on ahead. I'm going to rest by the poolside. Are you feeling sick? Don't push yourself. We could just come back some other time. He's right. If anything, I would prefer to come when everyone is filling up to it. It's nothing major, Kay. I'm just feeling a little, uh, a little chilly. I'll head in once I warm up. What swimsuit did she get? What did she get? 
That would be uh, that spot would be the most efficient for warming up. Okay, thanks. But there's no need for you to worry about me either. Hurry up and go. We're not close enough yet for me to be considerate of you. How presumptuous. Uh, shut up and go already. Look like she's got her energy back for a second there. I'm not specialized in water combat. <laughs> I wish to spa spectate alongside of you. Then what's that floaty for? Thanks, but I'm really fine. What a huge lazy river. Oh, this brings me back. This uh this lazy river um reminds me of when I was in Adventure Islands. Like I don't know how many of you guys have been to Florida. But uh, in Florida, near Tampa, there's this uh, water park that was called Adventure Islands, and then Bush Gardens was nearby. And I used to go to Adventure Islands all the time and just lay in the r lazy river all day long. It was legit, uh, you know, um, one of my favorite things to do. Like, uh, I had, like, a pass to be able to go anytime I wanted because I had, like, the year pass. And every day when I was in Florida, I would get off of school and I would head over to uh, Adventure Islands and I would just float in the lazy river. It was such a a fun time. I, man, I miss those days, dude. I really, it, there's some days I wish I could just uh, still be in Florida because like there was just, laying in the lazy river was just blessed. It, it was a really blessed time. Uh, Full Metal Panic, uh, Florida, I, yes, I am a Florida man. They said it's four, uh, 400 meters long. Uh, let's see. She's a good channel. Why are you spinning? This uh, humble one does not know either. The one thing I'm certain of is that I cannot fight against this fate. <laughs> is this facility designed to uh, deal with river-related incidents? Okay, do not try going against the current. Got it? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, the current pushed me. What am I supposed to be doing? Bro. 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 What in the world? What are you doing? I would like Anjo Rentaro to feel what feminine charm is, is like, and this is the most efficient way to do so. Minor firmer. Bro. <laughs> Bro, what? Okay, I, dude, the man straight had a heart attack from what just happened. He just straight died, dude. He just straight freaking died. <laughs> I won't let it end like this, I joke, uh, Rintaro. There are still so many things I want you to teach me. This is no time to be playing around. He's really going to die at this rate. Rintaro's going to die. Rintaro's going to die. I promise I'll give you proper CPR. <laughs> she's a coo is uh, just like spinning i tried my best to get back after i noticed i was being drifted away and the others but i got washed away over here instead it was at this point that shizuka realized she was done for help me help me help me on a certain day a certain spa help me help me on the lazy river she uh shizuka found herself stranded Oh, she spins. She is spinning. She literally is spinning. <laughs> She's loving and spin. We can't give him CPR at all. Given the circumstances, requesting for help would be more efficient. You're right, AI. Let's go find a staff member right away. And make sure it's a male staff member. A wise choice. Let us find a male staff member. Hey, hey, ladies. Why don't y'all cuties play with us? For oh, my goodness, of course. Hey, I'm sorry. We're in a bit of a hurry. Wait up. I'll listen. Uh... I'll listen to what you gotta say. Oh my goodness. That girl's upper arm is a so Oh, show me how. Oh. Oh! Oh, and I. Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, well, aren't you aggressive grabbing my hand like that? The eyes! Oh! The eyes! The freaking eyes! Why is it always the eyes? I mean, he had it coming, but oh, it's always the eyes. It's always the eyes. This is efficient repelling. <laughs> bro, it's always the eyes. Like, bro, why? Why, why is it? You don't get a free pass 
to screw with us just because you're girls. That's how you want to play it. Then we're going to make sure you spend some time with us by any means. Hikari and Nano are in a whole lot of trouble thanks to some men. Shizuka is stranded. Hirane is complaining about being oddly chilly. And Rentaro is knocking on Death's door. <laughs> Bro, what is this series, man? Uh, there shall be no NTR. <laughs> She's just like... I jab, literal straight I jab. And th if that's how you want to play, then we're going to make sure you spend time with us uh, by any means. Very well. In that case, I will hang out with all of you. AI, you go find a male staff member and immediately help Ijo Rintaro. That would be the most efficient course of action. Even so, why are you taking this upon all yourself? And you even looked looked out for me earlier when that guy tried to grab me. If anything happened to you, it would make Ijo Rintaro sad, and I would hate that. That's all there is to it. What? You know that Rintaro can feel the same if anything were to happen to you. I've only just started dating him, unlike yourself. Theoretically speaking, Ijo Rintaro would be more sad if anything were to happen to you. If you understand, then hurry up and go. Quit the chit-chat already. Take your pick, come with us willfully or by four, like I said I will. Neither of us are spending any time with you guys. Hanazono, what are you? It's true that you haven't been dating him for long. You still don't know a thing about Rentaro. Got some nerve. Guess I'll have you come with us. That's enough. What the? Rentaro. What do you think you're doing to my girlfriends? What kind of idiot would say that while on the receiving end of an iron claw? Girlfriends. Don't get in our way. That girl, uh, girl crushed my friend's eyes <laughs> earlier. That's only because he was trying to grab my arm. I see. Then as a payment for Nano crushing his eyes, I'll hang out with you guys as much as you want. Why the hell would we want to hang out with you? Enough already, oh, which one is your girlfriend? Just take her and only her and get out of here. They're both my girlfriends. What are you smoking? <laughs> no, seriously, they're both my girlfriends. Now you're just screwing with us. In that case, kiss both of them right here, right now. And they're both your girlfriends and it should be a cinch, right? Let's see if you really could kiss another girl in front of your actual girlfriend. You, you, oh, quit messing around. That isn't for show. Am I going to do anything my girlfriends would hate? You <laughs> bro! Bro! My... <laughs> My dude, what a flex. What a flex. That is straight flexing, my man. He just flexed so hard on those two. Holy crap. Huh? Satisfied? Both of us are genuinely Rintaro's girlfriends. Anaki, these guys are insane. These brats really got some crazy views on love. <laughs> no way in hell we would ever want such shameless women we're out of here. Hey, take that back, I'll kill ya. Rintaro, when did you regain consciousness and how do you know we were here? Uh, thanks to, uh, how can you just be... Wait. Uh, thanks to... Huh. Just how fast can you be? Karane. Uh... Hakari and AI, but who are those guys? What's going on? And the heck's Rintaro doing? I'm pretty sure they were heading towards the laser river last I checked. Is he dead? Hey, what happened? Rintaro. The hell are you doing? Do you have any idea how much trouble Hikari and AI are in? Say what? <laughs> My man got brought back to life because they were in danger. My man. My man. Oh, this is such a peak series. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. You sure came to your senses quickly. That scared me. Akari and Nano are in trouble. Where? Wait, it's short. It's thanks to Kane that I knew to rush over here. So an efficient way of waking someone up like that exists. I can see why you had to crush that guy's eyes. <laughs> thank, thank you, Nano, for protecting Hikari. I simply did it because I know... Hanazono Hikari is an important human to you, but please don't do something so reckless ever again. If something happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Theoretically speaking, Ijo Rintaro would be more sad if anything were to happen to you. You still don't know a thing about Rintaro kun. Yes, my apologies. Thank you. Oh, the guard is so cute. So it's so cute. Uh, where is Shizuka? Yeah, you know, where is she? The poor girl's stranded. She is legit stranded in the middle of the lazy river. Hey, say, where's Shizuka? I haven't seen her since we left the Lazy River. 
Say what? That means she uh, might have been adrift along the river the whole time. Isn't that pretty normal, drifting along the lazy river? I'm well aware of that, but Shizuka uh, can't swim. And I know she's got a floaty, but if uh, the unthinkable happens... Well, Shizuka, where are you? Help me, help me, help me, help me. Aww. Oh, her battery's almost dead. Shizuka, where are you? Could she be in a different pool? All I can do now is call out to him in my own voice. But I have such a soft voice, it'd be really hard for him to hear me. There's no way he'll be able to hear me with all these people talking. I'm here. <gasps> oh, she yelled for him! So your floaty did break. I'm sorry for leaving you stranded. Everything's gonna be okay, now come here. Oh. She's Kachan, you're getting bold in a place like this. Founder. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. You guys going ahead. Karane, mind if I join? You're still chilly. Yeah, sure. Aw, so cute. That's so cute. That's so cute. Uh, he saved her and she yelled for him. Aw. I noticed something while you were talking to the others. You were peeking at Hakuri and Nano's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nano's Nano's a lot back there. What? As if I was. While you guys are changing, you compare yourself to them, which led you to lose all confidence in showing off how you looked in your swimsuit. Am I right? He is just straight up. He's just straight up saying to her, like, yo, I know you're comparing yourself. Once again, Giga Chad. Once again, another reason to like Rintaro. I told you, that's it. I'm just a bit chilly. I don't think a chilly person would order a melon soda float, though. I can't deny that their bodies are quite captivating, but that's only because their bodies are much more developed for their age. You know what I mean. For you and Shizuka, as well as both of you are considered normal for first-year high school students, it's nothing to be worried about. It's different for Shizuka, huh? Shizuka is petite and cute. Me, I'm neither of those things. I'm already fully grown. I'm not that cute type either. And despite all that, I'm not feminine at all. Okay, Karane, stand up. Uh, what are you... Uh, what the hell are you doing? You perv. My physique is pretty much the same as Akala. Wait, what is that? A boosted you with the physique of a round belly child. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? You look amazing. You're freaking adorable. Just because you praised me doesn't mean no, no. That's not what I'm trying to say is. You get it now? My heart's racing like crazy. And I know that you're doing, yours is doing the same, Carne. Aww. Uh, my heart's only racing because you're doing something like this, you know. Your heart pounding so close to mine. It's like we're sharing this embarrassment together. And the reason we're standing like this is all thanks to you. But is it about who is better or worse? You're all special in your own way. At the very least, I think you're as charming as can be. Well, have your chills been cured? Yeah, then let's meet up with the others. Aww. She kissed him too. Aww. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. This is... This is sweet. This is legit sweet. They nerd... They, wait, they did in the official? Oh, wow. I, I Did they really, Kirby? Why would they? That, that's strange. Why, why would they do that? Uh, let's see. I love you. I love you all. I love you, Rintar. I love you. I love you. Just saying I love you. Uh, Inda, has your body warmed up? Yeah, well, wow. That's a really cute swimsuit. Ah, yes, the fan service scene. Uh, thanks for all. Please, good luck. This pool date. Aw. Well, that was a nice little pool chapter. I like that. That was a legitimately good pool chapter. Okay, so she is now... <laughs> Poor girl. Here she comes. Okay, so what do we got going on here? So this is chapter 10. Chapter 10 of uh, the 100 girlfriends that really, really like you. Um, Now, one thing I want to say, guys, before I go any further, I just want to say... I'm thankful for everyone that's continued to watch this. I have, I really am thankful for everyone that's already left likes and comments, etc. Uh, it has been a blast. I mean, we've been streaming for uh, one, two, three and a half hours now. So in a few minutes, my longest stream ever is about to happen. Like, I have never streamed this long before. So I, I want to point that out, that uh, we're about to cross that threshold. Um, everyone that has been here for that, I do greatly thank you all, because, man, it's nice sharing this with everyone, being able to read this series and all that, I owe it all to you. And I'm glad it's been fun, I'm glad you all agree. 
Okay, so let me pull up the chat here for a second, fix all that, because I had that check in there. A 24-hour check? I don't know if it's going to be 24 hour now. But uh, I'm just, uh, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to read it until I want to stop. But uh, it's been very fun. Um, if I've missed any donations as well, I do apologize. I've been, like, focusing on reading, so forgive me if I have missed anything, if anyone has. Once again, apologies to that. Um, you're welcome, you're welcome, yep, yep, aw, oh, Chibi a full streamer, now, I, I guess I am kind of a full streamer, I mean, I streamed quite a bit already this week, uh, yep, the logic is slowly fading away from this, this series, wait, what? I mean, I think this series is staying logical, I like it, this series, don't forget, we never learn manga multiple routes, ah, oh, yes, 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 okay, I don't think you'll stop, so let's continue to read, faint, whoa, wait, the shock I just felt, it's the soulmate, Okay, so we have another one. Okay. Let's go hurry up, Rintaro. Today is the day we'll eat the love forevermore pancakes. It's limited to lovers and the first five groups. It was necessary to conquer four countries as there are four members in the four divas. With Aijo Rintaro having to eat four people's shares, blending them all together and drinking, it would be most amazing. <laughs> Come on, this ain't even worth an Instagram post. Oh, she's cute. She's a cute character. The Chemistry Princess, illuminated by the backlight. A very cute looking character. Uh, let's see, it's Heisenberg's daughter. Ah, yes, 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 okay. Uh, the Crazy Gremlin. Uh, this is chapter 10. But, uh, let's continue. Okay, so 24 hours later, or rather the next day after, um, excuse me. I wonder if the soulmate I saw in the chem lab yesterday will be here. Welcome to the Kim Lab. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Her, so she's not here. And you are? I'm Ijo Rentaro. Was the person part of the chemistry club? I guess I can't try asking her. Rentaro, huh? Good to see you. Name's Yakuzin Kusuri, and she's part of the chemistry club. Yeppers. Yeppers. You don't hear yeppers every day. I'm not a yepper. <laughs> uh, anyways, here's some tea yeppers. Uh, don't you need to do that? I'm, uh... Don't you need to do that? I'm here just to... You're in luck. Kusuri just finished developing an interesting drug, Yeppers. I'm not here for a lesson. Let's prepare it right now. Hold on just a second, Yeppers. And oh, and no looky. Wait over there, Yeppers. Oh, I see. Thank you very much for the $2 donation. Happy I got you to read Peak, Wind Stream, Wind Manga. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I forget if she's not listening to me at all. I'll look at what she wants to show me. But I got a bit of a problem here. I might not even realize what's so great about what she wants to show me if it's something pretty specialized. It's the human magnetization drug that could blow the Nobel Prize out of the water. What is that? It looks like something out of Dorimon. Well, I'll call it a human mag uh, magnetization. Might be a bit of a stretch. But the point is that it's a drug that magnetizes the iron in your blood. Look when a nail touches a magnet. The same nail would be magnetized a short while afterwards, right? Oh, right. We did an experiment like that back in the... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Your blood has iron in it. So, it makes sense what she's talking about. To simply put, this drug is a drinkable magnet. If you drink this, it reacts with the iron in your blood. It gives it magnetic properties, like the nail. That sounds dangerous. That is very, very dangerous. Like, if that theoretically, that worked. That would, like, tear your body. That would destroy, that would like destroy your body, so to speak, if you were to do that. Anyways, okay. Well, you get it once you drink it, Yeppers. Wait, what is going on? Why, why am I seeing, leave your logic at the door. TV has no idea what she's capable. Uh, well, we'll see. Um, okay, well, I'll get you once you drink it, Yeppers, drink it. You can hear about a drug as much as you want, but unless you experience it firsthand, what all the fuss is about, like, sm Huh? Jesse, we got to cook. Okay. Uh, this chat right now, I don't know what's going on here. One second, I gotta fix this. Someone is spamming chat. Just give me a second. I gotta handle this. Okay. 
We don't do this uh, spamming in chat. Okay. There we go. There we go, there we go. Okay. We don't do that spamming in chat, guys, like that. This is, uh, come on now. Anyways, uh... Anyways. Like, come on. I, I appreciate, you know, some funniness, but come on now. Okay. Would be great. would be a great example, Yappers. You're speaking from personal experience. To be honest, as a member of the, uh... Uh, chemistry club, I am inter absolutely not. Anyway, hurry up and drink it, yappers. Whoa, my body really is acting like a magnet. This is the power of the drugs developed by Kusuri. By the way, after taking this drug, you'll be suffering for three days and three nights of unimaginable constipation. Get ready. Ah. Uh... Wait, but wait, there's more. Want to know what would happen if Kusuri drank the same drug with reverse polarity? What the? Hee hee. We'll be stuck together like this, yeppers. What's with this adorable looking creature? <laughs> what? By the way, if we both drink the same polarity instead, we'd be stuck in reverse position and get che uh, hard. Whoa. Okay. We can't separate the magnetism stronger than Kusuri fought. We'll be fine. It only lasts for 10 minutes. Is that so? Actually, Kusuri is at her limit of holding back the urge to pee. Yappers, are you an idiot? You're going to pee while we're this close to each other. It's a hassle to go to the restroom in the middle of an experiment. So Kusuri started to hold it against her better judgment. But don't worry. After seeing... Uh, how often she ended up leaking from holding it in until the last moment. She now... What the hell is going on? So there won't be any problem... Uh, huh? You can't do this. Young Jump is supposed to be wholesome. You can't have someone... What? What is going on? What is going on right now? What is... What? Looks like the drug wore off. How amazing and cool drugs are. And Kusuri just loves developing these kinds of amazing drugs. And there's more. Let this, let this see you in the dark. And this drug delays you from hearing sound. Oh, what the world is this? This is weird, man. It, yeah, it's showing its true powers. What I, I should have done what I came here for. So then, what are these feelings I have for her? Rentaro, you might be at a loss of words from Kusari's cuteness, right? What makes you say? The truth is, the tea you had earlier was spiked with a love potion. Why would you do that? Because Kusari has fallen for you at first sight, yeppers. Kusari is in love with Rentaro. Please go out with her, yeppers. Got him. There's no way you can turn Kusari down while this love potion is in effect. That's just for how can you do say something as someone's confessing? Do you have a shred of decency in you? I don't want to hear that from someone who could pee while they're stuck to so chest. <laughs> like, bro. Uh, one second, I'm getting a text. Um, one second. Oh, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> like, bro, what in the world, man? Okay. <laughs> uh... This is a weird series, man. Can you read uh, Jukika no Runikin? I have no idea what that is. Uh, that's just rude. How could you say that to someone confessing? Do you have a shred of decency in you? I don't want to hear that from someone who could pee while they're stuck to someone's chest. You've got it all wrong, too. What I want to do is puke out the love potion, huh? Was it not effective? No, that's not the point here. You really hate the idea of going out, Kusuri, that much. Kusuri loves you so much, Rintaro. Why is Kusuri completely not your type at all? Is something doing on, do with it? That's not it. What I, I wanted was to answer your confession the right way, with my own feelings, and not under the influence of some drug. Those are signs that his body is projecting the drug. Could it be that Kusuri wanted him to like her so badly that she made the dose too strong? 
Rotaro, this is the drug neutralization drug. Wait, what? That is so counterintuitive. Like, the drug neutralization drug. What? Drink? Uh, Rintaro, drink. Don't die here, no. This isn't good. His signs of rejection are so strong. There's no way he can, can drink the drug like this. In that case, time to force it in. Ah, yes, kissing. Thank goodness. The signs of rejection have subsided, but with that, the effect of the love potion is no more. Is it gone? Huh, I mean, you still really look cute to me, though. What's going on? There's no doubt about it. The effect of the drug could should be gone. Could it be that those signs of rejection towards the love potion from earlier were because he fell for Kusuri from the very start and it was physically impossible for his feelings to be any stronger? Was that what caused <laughs> Okay. Bro. What? Please go out with Kusuri. You're confessing while... <laughs> <laughs> She's just bowing on the ground. Kusuri loves you too much. She super loves you. She loves you as much as she loves... <laughs> this character is whack. Like, whack. Like, legitimately, this is a whack character. I don't know how I feel about this character. Like, I, I legit have no idea how I currently feel. Like, she's funny. I I'm not gonna lie. She's, she's hilarious. Like, she's legit funny. But the fact that, okay, she, she's eccentric. She, she is really eccentric as a character. She'll listen to whatever you say, so please, uh, please, well, wait, 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 wait. That, uh, that's lift your head first, huh? 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 Uh, looks uh, looks like back when Kusuri was giving you the drug neutralization drug mouth to mouth, she may have drank a bit as well. This is what Kusuri truly looks like. Yep. Thanks to the effect of the felon immortality drug, however, she usually looks like what you saw earlier. You created something that makes you seem like a final boss. What? Okay, so let me let me understand this. Let, let let me fully understand what is going on here. Basically, we know they're supernatural in this world, thanks to the beginning with the the whole god thing. So now we're getting girlfriends that have like this supernatural fantasy aspect or sci-fi aspect to them now. Interesting. Very interesting. This is going to mix things up a bit if this is the direction the story obviously wants to go. So, yeah. The fell drug, however, is stronger than neutralization drug, so she can only return to her original appearance for 10 minutes to 20 minutes. Yep. Oh, by the way, despite how she looks, Kusuri is a third-year student and the president of the chemistry club. Well, that appearance is better for experiments. Anyway, since this appearance is poor eyesight and her hair can get in the way, so that Kusuri is my senpai. Is this person my soulmate? Thank you so much. I look forward to this. You're returning a confession by... <laughs> Why, man? Wow, this makes her so happy. Yep. The, the difference with this form of hers is, is going to be bad. I come to think of it, better ch... Bro, what is this character? That just ruins everything. What a whack character. What a whack character. What the hell? What? What is this character? I am... Oh my... <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, putting on your glasses and being with your girlfriend. Okay, what do these two things have in common? You get to see your goddess. So, and so, due to how things panned out, would you guys mind welcoming Yakusin Kusuri Sanasai to his Hey, nice to meet you. The name's uh, Yakusin Kusuri. Yep, yep. Cutting him off right at the start is Kusuri Senpai. Dating additional people of the opposite sex is much more efficient. Amazing. 
<laughs> he ain't dating all of us because he's trying to be efficient or anything, okay? To be honest, this feels like I'm validating uh, Rintaro Kun's appeals as his girlfriend. I feel so proud. Uh, you know, I've heard about this before. A girl's heart tends to beat faster on a guy in, the, in their popular phase or whatever. Not that I care or anything. And what's more, it matters not how many children have been added because he still gives an abundant amount of love. There's nothing for me to fear. Let's hear the rest of your introduction while well, Kusri really, really... You know, I'm just gonna move Mommy. I'm gonna let this panel just speak for itself. Just, I, I, I just, I, I'll let the panel... Just, just read that panel right there. Like, uh, just, just read this. Just out of context. If you were just to screenshot that, out of context, in post. <laughs> this got some good meme panels. Like legit. That is, uh, yeah. Th this character is wild. <laughs> No need to worry. She said she hasn't done meth yet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bro. <laughs> you want to convince a way to put her in minds at ease. Oh, and she's actually a third year in our senpai. She only looks like this because of some drug she took. Your lies basically consumed me in your What? Dude, it's literally the breaking bad name. Jesse! Jesse! We gotta cook! Jesse! As a way of saying she wants to get acquainted with you guys, and A. Kusuri made some drugs as a present. This is the boob enhancement. <laughs> Bro! Oh, you don't want it? Now about the be more honest with yourself drug, or the becoming more feminine for the real. What's the big idea? Bro! <laughs> stuff and what do you get that kind of information about me from Rentaro yep 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 the worst the worst the worst is that what you really think of me Rentaro you piece of crap I freaking hate you I uh, don't get him wrong what he said about was that your slender was a great fit that your slender was a great figure and that you're not being honest all that time makes you incredibly adorable I'm so sorry if I said it was a lie ain't no way the thought of hating you would cross my mind did I hurt you <laughs> Don't worry, you're doing that to me with such ferocity is actually a reward once you think about it. Are you a masochist? Ah, yes. And for you, Hikari, we've got the become even sexier drug. I, if I could seduce Rintaro with this, bro. Oh my goodness. Gracious. Gotta scroll through that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Since you read, to, uh, you love to read books, Shizuka. Here's some fa something fantasy like. It, it's the make you rabbit like drug. It is my humble pleasure. Oh. <gasps> It's cuteness incarnate. It is my humble pleasure. I am not worthy of such words. Still, these sure are something. They're like the special effects you see in movie. They're movies. Oh, whoa, sorry. You actually felt something from that. A door leading to an unknown world. It's a brand new sensation. So we got fantasy being added. We literally got actual fantasy being added. Well, if that felt good, then let me touch them some more. I've had dreams about this place. Ain't this here? Shangiri La? Since you take efficiency quite seriously, Nano, here's the hair manipulation drug. In short, this lets you move your hair freely as if you've gained additional arms. This will improve work efficiently. Not bad. No surprise in the efficient girl, you drank it already. 
I do want to you have some dust on your face. Her hair smells great. Oh. Oh, you guys can't see it. One sec. Let me, let me, let me fix that for you. One second. Look at that. Dude, look at that. She pulled him in with her hair and kissed him. Bro. She just did that. That is, she knows what she wants. She, she knows exactly what she wants. Uh, when she be moved, Pete, girl, mommy, you know it's... It, yes. Yes. Uh, it's, it, oh, it is a Yami reference, isn't it? I just realized that. That legit is a Yami. That's a nice call-out, Nick. I didn't realize that, too. Love uh, a Rue reference. Holy crap. I like this. I like this, too. Then have some more. Each of these vials last about 10 minutes, though. And gradually, starting from the second vial, the more you drink, the higher the risk of you going bald becomes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So be careful. Yep, yep. Is that the price you pay for basically putting your hair on steroids? But if I go bald, it would save me time maintaining my hair. It would be efficient. Nano, are you sure? Because you would still love me even if I go bald, correct? I, Joe Rintaro? Of course. I'm confident I would love you even if you go bald, gain weight, or have your body hijacked by aliens. The last one never be long, no longer be me. But I also love your beautiful hair. I don't need these uh, drugs anymore, aw, even though it's such an interesting one. I guess uh, drugs might not be so... Bro. Bro. This series, man. It's thanks to them that Rintaro hugged me. She's right. They piqued my interest. It's thanks to them I get to wear the jersey he wore earlier. I... Dude, what in the world am I reading right now? This character is just whack. Like, straight whack. Like, oh my goodness, without context, if you were to just take a picture of these panels and just post them, the lack of context is astounding. Because it is just like, someone would look at you like, what are you reading? <laughs> like, if you had no context to what was going on here. All right, uh, Chrissy made some tea, too. She'll prepare some for you guys. But she suddenly has the ur Oh my goodness. Stop! You Stop it! Be careful. One is meant for Rentaro and the rest is meant for everybody else. Yep, yep. What was that? Oh, well, I mean, one has the flavor that guys prefer and the other one has flavors that girls prefer. Okay, whatever. Just go. Any case, look at the... For, uh, for an honest, you'll know which is which. Yep. Let's see. There's a big one and a small one. So this is what she meant, right? Let's eat. These cookies aren't bad. Seductive sweetness. What is this? The tea meant for Intaro. But why? Chrissy made sure the front... Uh, I almost were. Sturdy, cute. Wow. You guys, you got the tea wrong. All of you puke that tea out right now. It's fine. It's just the wrong uh, tea flavor. That's not what I mean. No, it's what's inside the tea. I spiked it with you can't help but kiss the person you love drug. It was all a ploy to get you to kiss it, so drink it so you'd kiss me relentlessly. Yep, yep. You you didn't need to add that in. Even without the drug, I'd still want to kiss you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You okay, Kusuri Senpai? Kiss. Oh, they're acting like zombies. Guys, Kusuri did it again. Once again, she... Run, Rintaro. That's the drug side effect. You were trying to make me turn into that? No. There's a reason why women shouldn't drink that. With guys, there's she'll desire to focus on physical pleasure. In other words, lewd. They're also focused on spiritual pleasure. As regards to be beings that desire kisses the most from their lovers. And because of that, they shouldn't go any further than state of craving for a kiss. Now, the four of them have basically surrendered themselves to their instincts where they just want to kiss. And when their rationality limit are now gone, they're in a state where they can release 100% of their capabilities. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that's, that's straight, uh-oh. <laughs> that's what that is. Uh, they're not thinking about anything but kissing the person they love, all while wandering around in a stupor without any sense of themselves. 
In short, they are now kissing zombies. And once you are caught, you you can forget about escaping. You'll get be getting kisses from them for the rest of your life. Yep, yep, say what? Pretty much paradise, right? Also, if they don't drink the neutralization drug before it circulates throughout their entire body, so they'll stay like that forever. That base could be sending their personalities to Nirvana. <laughs> then how much time do we have, you know, before it circulates throughout their entire body? It really depends on the person, but roughly just under an hour. Yep, yep. So before that happens, we have to get them to neutralize, to, to take the neutralization drug. The resident evil of kissing has begun for Rintaro and his girlfriends. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is, uh... Okay. <laughs> Just... What? They really are doing the straight up, uh, like, Resident Evil. The Resident Evil title right here. That That's exactly what they're doing. That's actually kind of funny. I respect that. That's funny, too. They literally put the title bio. Yeah, they, they legit just put the title Biohazard. That's what I like about that. But, um, Chibi, enjoy. Yep, I am enjoying this, honestly. Okay, so kiss, kiss. First off, let's get away from the those four kissing zombies. Unless we make it back to the chem lab, we'll never be able to make it and uh, be able to make enough of the neutralization drug for all four of them. Nope, nope. Kiss of death. They're fast, so this is what she meant by being able to use 100% of her body's capabilities once they have their rationality limiters removed. That drug might do the trick. There's got to be a way to stop those four in their tracks, right? This series reminds me of Jujutsu Kaisen anime run. <laughs> it's the, if this gets splashed on your skin, will burn with unimaginable pain drug. Yep, yep, don't use that. Keep in mind that our goal is to get them back to normal. How dare you run in the hallway? Oh, no. Get ready for my whip of love, the vice principal. Yeah, monster. I'm oh, sorry, Kusori got so scared that she accidentally splashed all over you. My makeup foundation melting. It took me three hours to build up this mud wall. At this rate, people will be able to see what I truly look like. It didn't work on her at all. Kusori's drugs can be blocked by some foundation. That's the part that shocked you. <laughs> Keisha was six for makeup first. Everyone knows that modern science doesn't work on monsters. Come on, let's get going. Kiss. kiss. They're just, they're literally saying kiss. They're, they're, they're like kiss, kiss, kiss. Like, like his brains. They're splitting up. A pincer attack would be most efficient is what I think she said. Since those four are chasing us because they want to kiss me, that means that I'm actually the one being chased, right? We'll split up here too. Senpai, let's both head towards the chem lab. Got it. Kiss, kiss. I knew it. Not only she's a good chance chasing after me. Shizuka isn't as fast as the other three, so that's how it works. Even though their limiters have been removed, I'm still based on their original physique. In that case, I should be able to escape their pincer move before they can cut me off. Kiss. shizuka chan. Your forehead's all red. Don't worry, the infirmary right here. Let's go. The nurse is this way. Like I care, this emergency. Every second here counts. I've already applied a wet compressed ch uh, chill to your forehead and chanted the pain go away. Go away. Or pain, pain, go away. Spell. You'll be fine now. Kiss. Aww. Aww. Even while. Aww. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is cute. Kiss. I forgot we're in the middle of a Resident Evil situation right now. How could that have slipped my mind? She's good, Chan? Uh-oh. 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 You're getting kissed. This is a good. Can't think straight. No, I have to get you back to normal. <laughs> he just put her on a clothes hanger. <laughs> My man put her on a clothes hanger. Look at that. He's like, he just, dude, he just hangs her up, man. He's like, yep, there we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Bro. Sorry, she's a good shot. I'll try to get back you back to normal until then. Wait right there. How to talk to short people, bruh. Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh crap. Better pull a 180 here. Kiss. Kiss. They're just communicating. Wait. Are they? Wait. They're throwing each other? Wait a minute. Kur uh, Kurane Catapult and Hakari Meteor Bullet. What? Yeah, this isn't the Universal Chojin Tag Tournament. Come on. Hikari, 
Oh my, oh my goodness, they're both just kissing him. Crap, my head's in a daze again. Unlike Shizuka-chan, they're a lot stronger. I can't shake them off. Aw, oh, jeez, these two are fighting again. It's definitely not their first time competing over a kiss. Even after becoming zombies, they're still the same, these two. Wait, even after becoming zombies, these two are still the same? I've got it. Kiss. Oh! <gasps> Tom. It's Yuri time. That's exactly what it is. Kiss. Oh! <laughs> Bro! What? Oh my goodness! That's right. What they drank was that you can't help but kiss the person you love drug. And Hakari Kane are fellow lovers who are so close to each other that they fight every single day. Bro, they have a relationship so that close that they even had a three-way three kiss after all. So I put my faith in these two. But Taro is confusing uh, friendship for something else. The Those are kisses from zo uh, kissing zombies for you. This got uh, hardcore real fast. <laughs> this is an item in all. Oh, now's a chance to get to the camera. Bro, what the... <laughs> Dude, my man, what a... Okay, I, it's not a twist I expected. I somehow made it. Did Kusuri Senpai get here before me? Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Why is Nano in the Kim Lab? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Crap. Time to make a break for it. Kiss. I love how she just say kiss. This is bad. At this rate, it's only a matter of time before she finds me, but still, there's still hope. We did split up after all. If Kusuri Senpai can use this chance to get into the Kim Lab, then... Hmm. Uh, I could barely breathe. Yep, yep. Kusuri Senpai, hope is dead. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the Harem Love Comedy with new discoveries and zero losing heroines. I want to say I love you, and I want y uh, you to say it back to me. Oh, my goodness. Um... Ch uh, Chad Taro would make a good historian. Yes, he would. He would make a great historian. Uh, save the kissing zombies. Kusuri Senpai, what are you doing here? Kusuri's uh, hiding here because Nano saw her going into the lab and started chasing her. Yep, yep. And because of that, she's looking around the lab for Kusuri, so now Kusuri has no chance of getting into the lab. But why? I should be the one that. The only one that they're going after since I'm the kissing target. They may have realized that Kusuri's an ally who's helping you, so that explains how they were able to set up a pincer attack move. They may be kissing zombies, but they haven't completely lost their brains. Uh, kiss, kiss. At this rate, she's gonna find and catch us both. How about this, Rintaro? You go out and make a run for it, and we can get Nano away from here. And while you two are gone, Kusuri will head straight for the lab. How's that sound? I had the same idea as well, but... Just bursting out of here after going through all of the effort to hide from her would make that pain a plan way too obvious. Uh, betting on my running abilities would mean that there was never the need to stop and hide in the first place. And since she knows uh, she's faster than me, she'll know for sure that I've rushed out with the intention of being caught. Having her realize that what I'm doing is just a feint to get Nana away from here is the same as saying oh, my ally is hiding right over here. What do we do? What do we do? This is a really resonant evil situation. It's pretty fascinating how this series has kind of got into that. It's like, how? how? How did this even happen? At this rate, we won't even be able to stop the drug from circulating for their bodies, and we'll be supposed to help them. So things end up like this again in the end, huh? It's always like this, Rakusuri. Yep, yep, she's always so caught up in her beloved drugs that she causes trouble for people around her. This is the reason why the other members of the Kim Club told her they were quitting, but... If uh, were anyone else, it would be fine with Kusuri, but if you were to start hating Kusuri, if this caused you trouble, she'll absolutely hate herself for this. Which is why Kusuri will stop developing drugs. Yep, yep. Senpai, she's really sorry, Rintaro. Alright, uh, everything will be fine, Rintaro, because Kusuri has this Resident Evil situation figured out, huh? Kusuri always carries this around just in case anything happens. A single dose of neutralization drug, yep. Right now, until we need enough of the neutralization drug for four people. But at the moment, all we can do is get Nano back to normal so we can get into the lab. One dose will be enough. Yep, yep. What? 
Wait, why'd she drink it? What are you doing? That's my line. Weren't we supposed to make Nano drink that? Oh, that would have done the trick too. We had other options. Kusuri thought that she should be able to go inside the chem lab without any fuss as the 18-year-old Kusuri since Nano doesn't know anything about her. What's wrong, uh, Rintaro? Your face is all red. <laughs> well, that's because your body is touching. <laughs> Bro, what? Four hour that long? Wait. I could do this all day. I mean, I have been streaming for a while. I might wrap it up soon, honestly. We'll see. Your body's touching me. How are the effect will wear off right away since she only managed to take a sip? So there is the possibility of reverting back to the child form, Kusuri, in the middle of making the neutralization drug. Which is why she'll mo immobilize Nano by try uh, tying her up with the vinyl rope. Ah, uh, yes. You think you can do it? It's a surprise attack done under a different appearance than perhaps. In this case, this has done before the drugs wears off. Yep. Since next episode begins a long arc. Okay, uh, super. Uh, thank you for the information. Um, kiss. Insignificant kiss. Oh! Insignificant kiss. Bruh. Alright, she didn't notice at all. This just might work. Kiss. Um, Kusuri's just passing by. Yep, referring to herself in first person. Huh? I, I don't know what she's saying. Are we finished here? We can't make any more neutralization drug now that Senpai's been caught. What do we do now? What do we do? Kiss. Don't let her catch up. Run, run. My like your life depends on it. If my opponent is a kissing zombie with her rationality limit removed, then I'll remove mine as well with the power of love that's overflowing inside of me. Storage. Ah, yes, she starts kissing him. Game over. Thank you very much for reading, Orintaro. May you rest in peace. Not now. But this one, once she wakes up, she'll be back to normal. Yep. What a relief. <clears throat> you made... Wait. Was that a trick? Oh, it's a trick. Oh, that's funny. They did the game. Oh, that's, a, that's pretty funny. But this one, she'll wake up. She'll be back to normal. Yep. What a relief. You made it just in the nick of time. All this was within your calculations. Well, rather than some calculations, it was probably more than gambling everything on this. Getting non Alice's attention. And then trying to keep her occupied for as long as possible to buy some time. All of it was simply a waiting game. Since you only uh, drank a sip of the neutralization drug, Senpai. All I had to do was wait for the drug to wear off. And the vinyl rope would come undone once your body shrank. That's how Kusuri was able to move again. Wait, you didn't realize that? Kusuri thought Rintaro had developed a drug that melts vinyl or something somehow. Anyway, let's get the other three to drink the neutralization drug. Where am I? I ain't half asleep or something anything got it exactly what what did i do that why did i do that to rintaro my apologies to the extreme you guys rintaro i'm sorry i'm really sorry but i can't remember anything at all yes you can yes yes you can remember right uh carne you don't remember what happened at all right uh what do you mean me no no uh she's a remember every <laughs> All right, yeah, you're right. I got no clue what happened, like you said. That's right, don't remember a thing. Uh, ain't that the funniest thing? And just like that, their bonds have deepened yet again. This is all Kusuri's fault. Everyone, Kusuri's really sorry. Sorry, yep, yep. It's all because of the drug Kusuri made that you guys ended up like that. Sorry. Yakuzen, Kusuri, Kusuri, drug ruler. <laughs> <laughs> she's a good calls her a drug ruler what i won't deny that your drug was the reason they ended up like that it's also thanks to another one of your drugs that they're back to normal senpai it's all it all even out don't you think but but for now on matter no matter how big of a problem your drugs cause senpai i'll take care of it with you just like this no matter what happens we'll take care of it together definitely Rintaro, which is why. Please don't say you're going to quit developing the drugs you love so much ever again. I love the Kusuri Senpai who's truly devoted to what she loves. Giga Chad move for such a weird little thing. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Amazing. So cool. So, uh, so freaking hot. Huh? Huh? Okay. I, I, I just, I'm going to, I'm just going to move mommy and then I'm going to put her back. I'm not even going to say it. There you go. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, the thirsty gets even thirstier. Rintaro, she really, 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 really loves you. And <laughs> drugs, uh, yes. And then there's the kiss scene. 
Congratulations, not the final chapter. We'll continue this for a bit longer. Okay, so this is, I think, a very good stopping point. Okay, so I've been streaming for about more than four hours. About four hours and 20 minutes now, technically. So, yeah. I'm, uh, starting this chapter means stopping only at 20. Okay, so yeah, this is a uh, good stopping point then. We'll continue this sometime soon. If this video can get 800 likes or whatever, you know, I will, uh, I will straight up, you know, do a, a part two to this. I won't read it, just in case. I'll give it a few days. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely would like to stream more of this. Green can't wait for the next live. I, I, I do enjoy this. I, I, I really think that, uh, it's already at 580. Oh, I haven't paid attention. I haven't even looked at it. Um, that's oh wow. It'll be easy then. Well, if this gets 800, like I said, I'll 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 do a follow up. I'll do a part two. Um, but thank you everyone for uh you know watching this. I greatly appreciate doing the stream with everybody. Uh, once again, I really am thankful for everyone that tuned in and watched. I don't know technically how much fun everybody had. I know I had fun. This was a blast, like legit. I had some of the best moments here. This was really something I needed to do. Being able to do stuff like this with you guys is just so amazing. Uh, I had some good laughs. I I think that I got a little bit emotional sometimes. This is legit, just a really fun read, and I think everybody had a good time. Uh, do you have a Discord? I want to know where so I could join. I do have a Discord. Uh, I'll have to start posting my Discord in uh, my description. That's what I want to start doing. Uh, I'll probably add it maybe to this video or the video I make probably either later today or tomorrow. But, uh, yes, I do have a Discord. Um, no, you're so close. Uh, don't worry, I will continue this. But, uh, once again, uh, I'll save it. I'm not going to read ahead. I won't read ahead. Don't worry. I won't read ahead. I'll wait. But, uh... Basically, yeah, next time I get back to reading this, we'll do another stream. I'll do the little announcement time thing for everybody, for everybody knows when it's going to start. Probably be around the same time, probably start at 10 again, like exact same time, because it's pretty good. I think it's a decent time to start. But, uh, yeah, thank you everyone that left a like, you know, donated, and, you know, just commented in the chat, or even just lurking and watching. I love all of you guys, and may you all have a fantastic day or night wherever you live. And once again, thank you, chat. I had a lot of fun with you. It's been very, very fun. Have a blessed day, everyone. And I'm going to guess I'm going to leave it at that. She be out.